Good morning, chat, and welcome back to Colonize. Good to see you all here. Hope you're all doing well. Welcome aboard. Nice to see you. Well, today we're going to take a look at Colonize again, as it's now fully released for all you guys. And since it's been released, there's been some big O updates. Uh, so we took a look at this game a few days ago. And now it is fully released for the prologue. Oh, look at that. You can actually see me. I'm playing. <laughs> so if you go to Steam and go to Colonize uh, or Colonize Prologue, you can find the game here. It is available for free, so you can download it now. And it looks like people are already leaving reviews for it. And it looks like most people are saying it's pretty good. Yeah, there's a lot of, like, recommended. It's a few not recommended, but the game is not complete. And it's a demo of an incomplete game, so I don't... I don't know how you could really judge it too positively or negatively, other than that I, I like it, for example. But anyway, I want to give it a try again, as I'm really enjoying the whole scenario of um, eh, kind of feeling like Anno, you know, with like the 1601s uh, or 2s and the 1760s and 9s and 350s and all that. So anyway, we're going to jump in and give this one a try again and see if we can uh, kind of see the expansion of the game today where we can build the um, expedition center and then like go to other places in Massachusetts so it should be a good time so anyway um, the developer was in our last live stream we learned a lot about this game too by the way subtle nuances that you wouldn't know for example uh, the age of people being able to work in the game is uh, age 10 people die automatically at the age of 100 no matter how good their health is it seems that there's not, like, random death ages, but if everybody's needs are taken care of, they'll last till age 100, but their lives seem to go rather quickly. You'll notice in the first, like, year, when we go from, like, I think we start in June 1621, and when it becomes June 1622, people who were, like, 20 when the colony started will then be, like, 45 and stuff. So it's, like, within the course of an in-game year, it's, like, the people's ages age like it's like dog years times 10 it's like really crazy so your population goes by rather quick but again incomplete game they're looking for feedback they're working on a lot of stuff they've added a lot of stuff too based on our feedback so as you guys um you know see more and more make sure you give your feedback too or what i would really recommend is after watching today's live stream and all the videos on it so you kind of know mostly what not to do from my mistakes go and leave some feedback for the devs on their you know, Steam page, recommended or not, but whether or not you do, make sure you like say the things that you like or dislike, or more importantly, what you'd like to see, so that way, you know, we can get our our way and have a much better game. How does the allow thing work? Yeah, if somebody drops a gift bomb in the chat, um, there should be at the bottom like some settings for it, but YouTube did kind of a really poor job, like they do with most things, introducing new features. So, um, there's gifted memberships now, but only certain channels have it, and you can only gift memberships to people on your PC only if you yourself are a member. But if you're not a member and you're a regular viewer, you should be able to claim on PC and you should be able to claim on mobile, but you have to gift on PC and you have to be a member already. So there, there'll there be like a big green box in the chat that'll show up, a big rectangle that'll say, so-and-so has dropped a bomb or whatever. And then below that, there should be like an allow thing that pops up. I've seen Sometimes I've seen people show me the screenshot where it is there, sometimes it's not there, but it should be down below in the chat somewhere as well. So, um, yeah, if you'd like to win a gifted membership, make sure you uh, turn that on to allow because we have a lot of awesome emos here. And another thing, we're doing a giveaway today for our game later today. We're going to be playing V Rising. So all of the members who are going to play with us, um, I'm going to be giving away some DLC packs for people who already have V Rising. And I'm waiting on getting more full versions of that awesome vampire survival, like castle builder, city builder kind of game. And you can build yourself a big old like base. It's really cool. So uh, we'll be doing some giveaways of the DLCs for that, which are cosmetic. But then we're gonna do some full giveaways of the game too. It's like the number one game on Steam right now, so uh, you know they're kind of busy with, uh, I think, updating their game and making sure it's good to go. So oh, there you go. Booster dropped a link for that as well for the uh, membership gifting. Thank you, Booster. All right, well, we're going to go ahead and start with Colonize then. Some things have changed since the last time we played, um, but overall it's still kind of a... It's kind of more about we're going to have to really find out... It's not like we're trying to survive at this point, but more like breaking a game. Like, we got to figure out how it works and, and break this down and take it apart so that way we understand how things work 
in the uh, in the uh, inter interim, basically. So we'll see. All is good. All is well. Trust me. Uh, you hope things are well? Yes, indeed they are. All right, boys. Let's jump into Colonize. We're going to start a new game, and let's see if there's anything new where we can build. So if this is your first time seeing the game, by the way, it looks like it'll just be a... Uh, it'll be based on scenarios, but I think eventually there'll be a free play. So right now we have to play in Plymouth, but Bermuda, Boston, Williamsburg, Philadelphia, and Charleston will be available in the future. And then I w I'd love to see some more locations in the Caribbean or... Um, in South America too or along those regions to maybe have each of them specialize in different goods like for example Plymouth I couldn't imagine them making like sugarcane and stuff there but maybe in Bermuda maybe some tropical climates would allow for some more um, diverse crops or goods or something like that both import and export that type of thing so let's go for a full playthrough all right you ready here we go welcome to colonize all right let's start a new game colonize the king requires your service let's go Plymouth holds a place of prominence in American history. Folklore and culture seeking freedom from religious persecution in England, a group of Puritans set forth on a voyage to the New World in 1620. Originally bound for the colony of Virginia, they veered off course and anchored in a harbor off the coast of present-day Massachusetts. After exploring and surveying the land, uh, the Puritans discovered a sheltered harbor perfect for the location of their settlement. After a treacherous journey, the settlers had reached the New World, disembarking from the Mayflower, well, that sounds familiar, and founding their settlement of Plymouth. As the governor of these newly settled lands, it is your responsibility to lead, guide, and protect them. Can you make it through the upcoming harsh winter and beyond, ensuring the survival and prosperity of your people? All right, let's play. We labored to rid the Church of England of the vestiges of papal influence. Despised as Puritans, we suffered persecution and were forced into exile. In the year of our Lord, 1620, we left Europe on a religious mission to establish a godly government. In Plymouth, we boarded Mayflower, an ark that would carry us to the Promised Land. Soon, we were besieged on all sides by the treacherous ocean. Scurvy and fear of imminent death accompanied us for the remainder of our journey. We barely reached the new world alive after months on the high seas. The fear of retribution plagued our minds. Our countrymen had already warred with local tribes over this land. Many of us, too, believed we were not destined to share it. Famine and sickness struck our colony. We resorted to stealing food from the natives. The whole settlement feared the violent wrath of their war parties. Instead, one of them befriended us. Squanto spoke our language. Despite previously having suffered in slavery at the hands of our kind, he arranged for us to trade with the people of the First Light, thus saving our very lives. They introduced us to the beauty and bounty of our unforgiving surroundings, but most settlers still refused to see them as equals. Others would only deal with them if they commit to his word. Shall peace be sustained by sturdy plowshares or instruments of warfare? That was weird. 
Okay, so tutorial for the game. The first colonies were about survival in the wild and inhospitable environment of New England. Deaths were frequently caused by hunger and many diseases. And in our game, Colonize, we try to bring the difficult lives of the first colonists closer to the modern day. Uh, gradually, we'll add more and more content, threats, and adjust the current state of the game to ensure the greatest experience for you, our players. However, we'll remain faithful to the history and way of life of the first colonists of the 17th century. Uh, thanks again to Red-Eyed Sniper for the 28 months. Thank you very much, dude, for your support. The game looks great. Thanks for all you do. Thank you very much for your support. All right, we're probably going to skip the tutorial, but we will read all the things related to it before we get to choose, so that'll be good. So, what will your role be? You're the governor of the first permanent successful colony, Plymouth, but success and survival were not certain for the first years following establishment. Sacrifice, hard work, and more importantly, maintaining good relations with the natives were key to survival. The local tribes of Wampanoag, Massachusetts, and the uh, Narragansett people who lived there before the arrival of Europeans were the main reason for their survival, were the survival of the colony. Therefore, do not forget to maintain good relations with the native tribes. Your job as governor is to take care of your people so that you always have enough food, warm clothes, and most importantly, income to repay our debt to the home company that paid for the trip to the Mayflower. Now, special note, it does say that we need food and warm clothes, but we cannot make clothing in the game, and firewood is also something that we can buy, but is not a factor. So warmth is not, like, implemented in the game yet. So it's mostly about food and happiness. Those are the two things that we need to worry about the most. Uh, Tis Quantum, or Squanto, is an English-speaking Native American and member of the Pawtucket tribe. He was our chief advisor in the first months. Without his help, we could have never survived, so watch out and follow his advice. Let's start by building the colony. First of all, the people have already built storage where we can store all building materials or goods that cannot be kept in a cellar, which they've also built for the storage of food. The public house is a place for the homeless people. Oh build my god, this YouTuber needs to go to jail. Cops are... What? Uh, the public house is a place for homeless people. Build more houses so citizens can move in and start families. Our people also built an inn, which will provide them food when not working. Yeah, so... Actually, interesting thing to consider in this game is... Uh, we will run the tutorial, no. Is that all of your people actually uh, go to eat after their shifts. So nobody eats from their home. They actually eat from their inn. Wow. Hi, Raptor. Hi, chat. Hope everyone is doing well. Keep on trucking. Low blow, amen, brother. Thank you very much for the big O support, brother. Amen. So anyway, the basic the basic uh, premise is that people will work a shift, and then after work they'll go to the inn because they're working all day, and instead of um, going to uh, like back home to make a meal, they actually go to the inn. So there'll be one person full time. You at least want two people. One person full-time bringing food from the cellar to the inn, and then one person making all that into meals. But uh, over here we have our ship then. And uh, anytime we buy stuff, people will have to go to the ship to pick it up. It has its own storage here of wood, firewood, planks, and uh, stone. So anytime we purchase stuff from here, we have to get it. But anytime we sell, it's immediate, so that's a good thing to consider. They also added the population thing up here in the corner. We have 11 people in the camp uh, to worry about. And uh, another thing is, yeah, happiness is incredibly important. So we know that there's a positive area of effect around the inn. So that'll give us plus five for happiness. But if we build, for example, near a, uh, like a sawmill or something, that'll actually have a negative effect. So uh, it looks like, oh, actually, it looks like the shelter has an area of effect around it. So that'll affect our people negatively. So it seems like the best place to build would be uh, back here behind the inn, far away from everything else. Another almost free happiness that I noticed, too, is that the well in the game, which our people will use mostly for, um, well, it's mostly for the agricultural building because uh, the farm is the only building that consumes water at the moment, so there's no fires or there's no drinking from the people in the cabins or in the, in the houses. So we can just basically build the well somewhere near the houses, and uh, it'll give them a happiness bonus, too. So we can kind of build the farm kind of close to the houses, 
but also the people who work at the cellar will go and get water from the well. But it seems like the farmer goes directly to the well. The farmer won't go to the cellar for water. So I, I guess the cellar is programmed to gather water for people to drink, but they don't drink from it yet because that other half of the programming is not there. And the farmer doesn't go to the cellar to get water because that's meant for only food. And since the farmer is getting it to grow the food, it's separate than from like it being like a end consumer thing for the like for the people. In other words, it's like a it's kind of like in a game when you you know like when you use water to make bread. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and get started. We'll lay out our pathways then. Yeah, talking about wells is a pretty deep subject, isn't it? Chat. I love you guys. Boom, perfect. Uh, you can also make curved paths in this game if you want to. You just have to, like, uh, you can hold control to make them not on the grid. So right now everything goes in, like, a, looks like a 45 degree angle. But if you don't like that, you just hold control. So there you go. Okay, so one thing that I'll recommend from the start for everybody is make sure that you also sell all your leather. In the future, leather will probably be used for making clothing, maybe shoes, maybe certain tools and such will require leather. Maybe like, for example, a plow or something in the future. But um, yeah, right now we can sell that tobacco and also wheat too, because money for building materials is way more important for the first year. There's no way that you're going to be able to... Uh, like turn the wheat into flour and bake it by the end of the first year. There's no way. So you may as well just sell everything in your stores and then uh, start storing more f uh, wood, which you can only have. Now keep in mind too, another thing to consider is that the limitations for material is really low. So for example, at the, uh, at the cellar, the cellar can only hold 20 meat. So if you build a hunter's cabin, the hunter's cabin is going to be able to produce way more meat than what you need. So, um, what you might want to do is, you could make another cellar, but they're really expensive. Uh, because they are built underground, you need a lot of stone. So for the cellar, it requires, um, yeah, 20 stone. So it's, it's a pretty, it's pretty spendy. Pretty spendy indeed, but it'll let you at least store a lot more stuff for that. So that's pretty cool. A lot more, um... A lot more meat for sure. Although I think that needs to be adjusted. I think the seller needs to store more. Am I going to employ the employ the Jerry Grid method? I'm going to employ some method. We'll see if it works. Let's see. Right, I'm going to connect the buildings up to the road. And then we will want to build some houses over here, I think, like next to the next to the inn. But we want to make sure they don't do that first. I think first and foremost is logs. Now you can zoom in this. You can zoom in this far, and zoom out this far. All right, let's build a logging camp. Another good idea, which the tutorial does tell you, is to build the stuff really close to the warehouse. So it is a good idea to build all your production buildings as close to the warehouse as possible. So for example, the sawmill, the logging camp, etc. We're gonna try to take that literally. All right, we want them to build that first. I'm also gonna ask them to build a well. Actually, we'll wait on that. Um, so we had a lot of people working in the warehouse. I think I want more people working in the warehouse because I'm gonna buy some stuff from the boat. Wait, that's weird. Oh. Another thing to remember is that the game considers everybody... Everybody who works at the warehouse and everybody who works at the cellar can also do construction. But construction is immediate when, like, a, a building is delivered in other, or when the materials are delivered. So when the... If you're building a church and people are delivering materials constantly to the church... As the materials are being built or delivered, it's also being built. So as they deliver to a construction site, it's also like being built right away too. So it's not like how it is in like Foundation or Ostrieve where materials can be brought to a construction site and then a construction crew has to come in. Delivering equals building. So that's another good thing to consider. Uh, a thing that I think needs to change though is that all these jobs are listed as laborers except for the innkeeper. 
And so laborer means that most of these people work at the warehouse, but as we see, only four of them are working at the warehouse. Everybody else is working at the cellar. So that means that the job of laborer applies to both the warehouse and the cellar. But I think what it should say is like, maybe like, um, I don't know, like, labor would be fine for the warehouse because they also kind of do construction. So they bring things to and from the warehouse and they also like help your production chain. Like for example, when logs get delivered and then logs go to the sawmill, but they could use a different word for the seller, maybe like um, uh, courier or something like that, or peddler. Although all they do is bring it to the inn. So we'll see how that works in a little bit. More wood is needed. I agree, more wood is needed. All right, we're gonna go with two people working at the cellar, and we're gonna get everybody else at the warehouse. Looks like the warehouse is fully employed now. Also, another thing, sometimes I've noticed that the jobs don't immediately, like if you fire somebody from a job to give them another job, sometimes it doesn't like immediately say that they're not, um, like that they're not free for work somewhere else. So if you wanna reassign them, sometimes it doesn't like say. Maybe they fix that though. All right, we're gonna make sure they build the woodcutter first, so we set the priority to max there. Warehouse people could be material logistics engineer, yeah. All about the title. All right, so we're gonna build the houses as far from the shelter, but as close to the inn as possible, so probably like right here. So I'm gonna build a well as well. More street lights? I know. I want the street lights to actually do something in the game. I hope in the future that it'll raise happiness or something. They did add fences though. This is something we didn't have access to before that I, I noticed. And people won't cross the fence. So if you're trying to keep your people on the roads or something like that, you can force them to take a certain route by building a, um, a fence. Kind of like how it is in Ostrave. Although the roadways are kind of like worthless. Like, people don't stick to the roadways and they don't have to be connected. So technically, you could just build a bunch of buildings on top of each other, but that's not aesthetically pleasing for us, the players, so we're going to do it that way. Street lights, people. Oh, boy. Yeah, the turbo aging is a, a big problem where if you don't get people to... Essentially, getting people to move into a home together and start a family is almost like trying to start a fire in a torrential rainstorm. It's very difficult, but it's like if you don't do it, you're going to die. So if if our camp... If, if people don't uh, immediately have children, we're, we're dead. Like, we're, they're going to... Everyone will age too quickly. And there's a window to where they can have kids like I think it's after the age of uh, 45 they can't have children anymore in this game uh, yep there's there seems to be no way to delete paths and there seems to be no way to delete buildings once they're built so and there's no there's no save function either but again it is a free prologue so that's definitely some feedback that I've provided too in saying like yeah there's there's got to be a save which obviously is something that they can put in and that they probably should, but a few other things are a little little more important, including the aging thing. That's just too fast. So speaking of aging, let's take a look at our people's age now. So the oldest people in the camp are 32 and 30, with the youngest being 19 and 20. So just watch in the next couple of... Uh, every, anytime I open up this menu, just keep track of the age right here and just watch how quickly everybody ages. It's like once... The, the, the way the game works is the clock is down here where it says 603. Every 24 hours in the game, that also equals a month. And every month in the game equals like five years of human life or something like that. So you'll see somebody uh, go from like age 19 to like 55 in like a year or something like that. I don't know how exactly it works, but yeah, you should be able to delete buildings, I agree. Because there's no way... Um, to like cancel a construction, there's no way to pause construction, there's no way to like delete a building once it's constructed. But like for example, if you build a logging camp here, like the woodcutter, and they cut down all the trees around it, 
Well, eventually you'll probably want to delete the building, build homes here instead, and then, like, build the woodcutter, like, over here then. You know, later, but there's no way to do that at the moment. But, that's feedback to make sure that they get it, uh, cracking. Is this really a hardcore city builder? Yeah, I think so. Hardcore meaning that it's more realism in terms of, like, having to worry painstakingly about your food, and about water, and about warm clothes, and firewood, and trade, and... In this game, we can also be invaded, too, so there is a military aspect that will be coming soon. So for Militia, it says, In the full version of the game, you must also defend the city. You will train your units, patrol for possible attacks from the natives, and keep watch for the French for French and Dutch raids. You'll have to properly enclose the city by building palisades and traps, and thus increase your chances against attack. Oh, we're looking forward to uh, the full release of Colonize to complete your gaming experience. There's also um, a council... But I think you can set policies inside here as well, and I think that'll work how it does it like an end zone. Like you can say a no new children policy, or maybe you can say uh, like half rations or something like that. It'll hurt uh, happiness, but it'll keep people alive, that kind of thing. So, could be good. What's up, Jeffrey? Hello, chat. Good to see you all here. You're having a hard time understanding how farming and animal raising is supposed to work. Yeah, Viper, I'm glad you mentioned that. I'll, uh, I'll mention, I'll talk a little bit more about that in a minute. Um... So for the council, it says, in the full version of the game, your council will be vital to approving laws and giving your colony certain work or defense bonuses. Well-known names of the time, such as Squanto, William Bradford, and Miles Standish, will be just some of the many you will be able to choose for your board. We're looking forward to the full release of Colonize to complete your gaming experience. So for the farming and the animal raising, it's a little weird at the moment. From what I've seen, and I don't know if they patched this out, but... Um, According to the developers, animals will breed every May. So every time that uh, you hit May in the game, the animals will breed, and it seems like you get a maximum stock. But I've had it where I slaughtered the pigs before winter, so you can have up to, like, I think six pigs. So I slaughtered them all before winter, shut down the building by, like, making sure nobody was employed there because there was no pigs. And then in May, we had six free pigs in the actual... Uh, pigsty. So I don't know if that's patched out or not, but like once you buy pigs, it seems like a free source of food. They do eat barley and potatoes, so keep in mind you got to be like feeding them. But if they breed every May automatically, if it's kind of a thing in the game, just kind of consider it that maybe your people are going out and like capturing boars or something and like domesticating them and breeding them into pigs or something like that. I'm not sure. All right. Yeah, you hear wooden shoes. Oh, it must be the Dutch coming. Yeah, that's true. But we'll see. Uh, yeah, hopefully we can repopulate. Our goal today is going to be to try to at least, like, get the uh, fire started and people, like, actually having children. You think pigs are OP? Well, if, if they're still broken, yes. But again, we'll see how they work in the future. Okay, so let's see. We've got ourselves two homes ready to be built, a woodcutter. We're going to make sure they build the woodcutter first. We're also going to need the um We're also going to need the sawmill. As a reminder, guys, don't forget to jump on the Discord today for a giveaway. We're going to be doing a giveaway for V Rising stuff today. And uh, make sure you got your memberships turned on to allow one in the chat. If you're ready to get your membership, if you got it turned on and you're ready to go, if you want to win a membership, if you smash the allow button so you can win a membership, let's see your ones in chat. Do I ever take a break? Bro, imagine sleeping with video games. You guys are always watching, so I'm always streaming. Oh, welcome aboard, Jerry. Good to see you back. Nice to see you. I uh, sent you a message this morning, Jerry, about new No Man's Sky uh, expedition and uh, thing released about space whales or something. Seems good. All right, and in three, two, one, go. Let's begin. So our people should be going to build the woodcutter here shortly. And we'll save our money for a little bit. Oh, looks like people are already on oh, this a deer. Oh, I forgot. We got to set the work hours. We can do that while we wait. We're going to have people work throughout the whole day. 
We're going to have the seller work at night. I want them to work here. And we're going to have the inn open during nights once people are off work. And the woodcutter we want open all day. There we go. Perfect. Oh, yes. If you guys remember, too, you uh, we now have a dedicated server for V-Rising. So every single one of you is uh, ready to go. If you want to join our dedicated server and you have V-Rising, you're good to go. The server is up. Just check the... Go to the Discord, and then there should be a tab in the member section below that called V-Rising with the uh, server password and stuff. Jerry, you replied. Thanks, bro. Uh, press allow where? Uh, when somebody drops a member bomb, it should be on your screen somewhere. What is the max player limit? Um, I don't know if there's a population limit at the moment. But we're going to go slow. We want we want to make sure everybody stays alive. So we're going to try to be really persistent. It's not, not about everybody staying alive, but we got to essentially... Doing this is like the moon landing. Like, we've, we've got to, like... We've got to perfectly time everybody having children. I don't know why they're building the houses now. Oh, they wow, they finished the woodcutter that quickly? Oh, damn. I thought it was still being built. So our people are now building houses and the well. That's all well and good. We're going to have to put down the... Yeah, we want the building houses first and the well. So the, the inn will give them plus five happiness. Oh, now, now there's not, like, a circle around the inn anymore. Well, if I need to, I'll build a cellar over here, too. But anyway, we want to keep all the people away from the things that make them sad. So the inn gives them plus five, a house will give them plus five, and the well will give them plus ten. So hopefully, hopefully that does it. Uh, v is 40 per server. It's actually 60. You can push the servers in uh, V rising up to 60. 40 is, like, the standard recommended, but you can go higher. Oh, baby. Here we go. Does Jerry still have his Pad Thai fighter? Yeah. It's funny how Jer Jerry gets all of his ships named after good food and drink. That's an honor. So why is there no option of having it somewhere instead of waiting and hoping for someone to give subs? Yeah, I don't know. It should be below, but you YouTube has a video on it, but like... Yeah, it's like hard to find. I, I think Booster shared it earlier, but it's inconsistent for everybody. So you tell them to look one place and it's not th like some people don't have it at all. Some people do have it. Some people have it and it's in a different spot than what you say. So it's like YouTube's like, hey, let's do let's do this thing where we confuse everybody. It's like, yeah, great idea. You know, you know how YouTube is. Also, have you seen have you heard about YouTube shorts? Also watch this ad. Slappy, thank you very much, dude, for becoming a Raptor Egg. Welcome back. Welcome. Don't forget to jump on the uh, Discord, my man, for the uh, extra perks and more. All right, well, we're settling in, everybody, for a nice uh, big O stream now. We're gonna we're gonna finally try to have one very successful colony. We got people already cutting down trees. Oh, I can't believe the hunter. We gotta we gotta get the hunter to top priority. Actually, no. Let, let's finish one house first to hope that people can at least have some children. Because the thing is, we need a lot of labor in these in this settlement. We need a lot of people to do a lot of jobs. I wish we could delete the shelter too, but it seems like we can't for the time being. Because eventually I'd like to have it so that way we have more homes than people, so that way when two people fall in love, they can move into their own house, you know? But they can only... They can only fall in love when they meet each other at the inn, if that makes sense. They can only, like, kind of become a couple there. Monica Ka, thanks for the 16 months as a raptor egg. Welcome aboard. Alright, so we're building two houses. A well is now complete. Excellent. So that increases happiness. 
So Well does two things right now. Happiness and irrigation for the farm. That's pretty important. Okay. New member, welcome. Uh, yeah, new people cannot arrive. You can. The only way to get more people is to uh, have children. That's the only way. At the moment, as far as I know, nobody will come in from the uh, boat. There might be a way through the expeditions because I haven't seen that yet. But I don't know if people will like want to join your settlement if they. If they find out you exist and they're like, oh, that's a nice place, I don't know if they'll move in or not. We'll see. We will see. Alright, but a couple has just moved in. Now, I think if they're red, it means that their happiness isn't high enough to have a child yet. But so long as happiness is over 50, it should be good. So these guys are actually both at 85 and 79, so they should be pretty good. The children, yeah. They're chilling. Well, without any warm clothes, yeah. Good point. Do you need a church before they procreate? Uh, the church is really expensive and only gives 15 happiness, which is weird because a, a water... A water well gives 10, but the church, which they're all about, only gives 15. And I don't know if, for example, um, I don't know if, like, for the church, if they have to go to the church in order for it to give them the happiness boost, or if they just need to live within proximity, because you do need somebody to be, like, the, to, like, operate the church, like, you need a priest, but... I don't know how that works, like if it's like with foundation where they go into the church and then it counts, or... Because there's also an area of effect around the church, like if we go to build that... And I love the way the... I really like the art style. I really, really like that for all the buildings. Like all the different art styles to show you what a building does, like woodcutter, quarry, you know, wheat field. Although wheat field can... that's misleading. The wheat field, you can grow more than wheat there. It should just say like farm field or, or like... Field. But anyway, you see the area effect around the church? Let me see if I can zoom out a little bit. Oh, it actually zooms you back in. Well, anyway, you can see the orange outline. So I don't know if this is the service area for the church, or if they get an extra bonus if they live near the church. I'm not sure. More questions and answers sometime. Okay. Must be the catchment area? Uh, perhaps, I'm not sure. How you get one million subs? Oh, they're all just bots. Oh, how, how you get one million subs, no one listens to you? Uh, yes, if you're not listening to me, put a one in the chat now. And also, uh, make sure that you also don't tell me where you're watching from live right now. And if you're not looking forward to today's giveaway, make sure you do not put a one in the chat. Make sure that there is not a single, I'd better not see a one or a zero plus one or a two minus one. Do, do not put a one in chat unless you are a paid bot. And bots, uh, let me know where your, your main server is located by let me, letting me know where you're watching from right now. Wow, that's a lot of bots in the chat, awesome. Thank you, bots, for not listening to me at all. Barry, Ontario, Canada. That's ba that's very cool. Thanks for your support. Greece? Someone's watching from Greece? Awesome. Welcome. Czech Republic. Good to see you. Romania. What's up? Nice to see you guys. Bangladesh? Sweet. Awesome. Good to see you all. Big O salute. 
Chat checking in. Awesome. Good to see you all. All right, well, we just finished some construction now on a few buildings. So let's get some people to work as hunters now. We need people going out hunting. Didn't we have two free people? Oh, no, we don't. That's two, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Twelve? Wait, what? Wait, there's somebody who works here. That's one. Two people work here. That's three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay. I thought we had more. I thought we had more people than we had jobs or whatever. Okay. All right, all right. You should build the church in the center of town and then build everything around it. That's how it would normally work, yeah, but we got to play within the game's rules, you know? What's the verdict on the game so far worth a try? Well, the game is free and it's incomplete where you can play it as a demo, so I guess if that appeals to you. The game seems to be familiar. This is what the Dutch did in Cape Town. Oh, yeah, the Dutch will be around soon. All right, everybody's going to eat now. After a long day of work. I need to figure out where to cut some jobs, unfortunately, but I don't want to. I've got to make sure some babies are being made. Well, we can't have more than 100 wood at the moment, so we don't need to buy any more of that. Okay, so you know what? Since we can buy some wood, let's shut down the woodcutter. Yeah, and we'll assign those people to the hunter. Because then we can sell the leather for more cash. So we should also build the sawmill then. If we if we buy nothing but wooden planks from the boat, we can then convert them to uh, planks. So that'll be a good thing. Let's build our woodcutter here. It's sawmill. Nah, it's been a while since we played Icarus. We've been mostly playing whatever's been on the channel recently. Up to our old uh, schemes. Okay, we're going to build our sawmill there. All right, so let's check everybody's ages. Yeah, so everybody apparently had a birthday over the time that we've been fiddling around. While well, let's speed up time. We'll wait for the next day. Everybody's basically off of work for now anyway. So at nighttime, everybody goes to the inn to eat. They have meat, fish, bread, potatoes, eggs, and corn. And then they'll go home to sleep. and maybe get busy. Do you think you should have a sawmill pit first? No, I think the order in which we built now is the most optimal for the game's current, um, like the current way things work. We don't need any more wood. Oh, apparently the, saw the woodcutter is also full of 20 wood, so we actually have 120, but it doesn't count unless it's in the warehouse. So when the warehouse runs out of wood, they'll uh, go and gather some more there. For the sawmill to build this, it's 40 wood, 12 stones, and 15 planks. So we're going to need planks, too. Thank you for all the hard work. Now, nah, chat, this isn't... Streaming and such is only pure fun because of you guys being awesome. So you guys asking questions, being funny in the chats, especially spamming those emotes and Encouraging other people to uh, subscribe or join the Discord or become members or game along with us or feel, you know, giving everybody uh, the feeling of being welcome. That's important. Uh, building the church in the center of town would be good, but we got to play within the game's rules. 
We gotta build within the catchment area, somewhere near the houses, that kind of thing. This is a little different than real life. You know how it is, like, in city skylines when you build a hospital? And, like, the hospital will have, like, a service area around the hospital. And then, like, the service area will be, like, right in the middle of a street. And so one house on one side can go to the hospital, but the other, the house on the other side of the hospital is like, I have absolutely no hospital near me. And it's like, you can drive on the same side of the road as the guy on the other side of the street to go to the hospital. <laughs> and it's like, nope, got to build another one. All right, well, ladies and gentlemen, we have our first birth. We went from the population of 11. That's not what I meant to play. We went from 11 to 12. We have our first baby, y'all. That is beautiful. And it worked. Let me guess, the Kirby family? No, Barney Hopkins got busy at the first child. Age 29, holy crap. All right, now we just need a few more. You can't buy this game at the moment, but you can play it for free. It's not finished, so they're not, they're not selling you an incomplete product. They're wanting you to download and test and give feedback on something that's not finished. It's like a, fr it's like a free sample, or like if you've ever been a part of the, one of those like uh, product development things where they like, you know, they ask you, they give you like a free bag of chips, and they're like, "What do you think about this bag of chips?" And you just have to give your opinion. You get free chips, but they might not necessarily like you know come out. Except it's a little different with games. They'll probably re release this game, but it's more about like how good will it be at release based on our feedback. Developers have done a good job. It's also, uh, the developers are in Slovakia, so, um, you know, there, there are some nations that haven't traditionally made games that are making games for the first time, so they've got a lot to learn on many aspects. Um, you know, software, troubleshooting, hardware, available stuff. Um, you know, other references that they have, other people who speak the language that they can talk to and uh, find out how to solve problems, that kind of thing, so. Pretty cool. All right, the sawmill is complete, and now we can start pumping out uh, wood for that place. All right, so once our newborn, Bobby, once Bobby Hopkins reaches the age of 10, he can then be an apprentice. There's no schools at the moment in the new colony, but we can eventually send him off to work at the sawmill to learn how that works. Ooh. Good luck, Bobby. One like equals one luck for Bobby not dying to death today. All right, so we're going to sell 33 leather, giving us 176. We probably want to buy more wood. And since we don't have enough people to work on all the jobs, we might need to buy some more wood. So let's buy, let's say, another 40. We can only store 100, so let's just buy, actually, we'll buy a 35. We'll start with that amount. Yo, Greg, thanks for the five. Appreciate that. We have 35 wood on the ship they have to go pick up. And then they'll bring it over to the warehouse. Looks like we have even more leather to sell. A fantastic first hunting season for the hunter. Another 20, wow. I'll uh, answer your question in just a second, Greg. I want to see if it actually reads it out. Oh, we should also set the sawmill. If you had, say, $5 million, how and would you try to open a video game company? How and would I try to open a video company? Yeah, I'd, I'd like to, like, make at least one game. And it would probably be, like, a top-down tycoon game related to, like, 1980s Japan making a ramen shop or something like that. I like tycoon games because they are building games, but I also like when they're, like, you're building, like, a restaurant, like, you know, sim style, where instead of building a whole town, you're building, like, a, uh, you know, like you're building, like, a a public space to attract customers and stuff, and I think that'd be really cool. So, yeah, a lot of that money would probably be put into R&D, learning about all the different types of ramen. And, of course, I'm not a 
skilled in any way in terms of games. You know, like art. Not really skilled there. But I could probably give some direction and try to, like, explain what I would be think would be a cool game and then I could promote it myself. And then eventually, hopefully, people would buy it. That'd be cool. Five million bucks is a lot of money. So a lot of it would probably, like, be saved and then maybe go into another game if the first game was successful. Five million is a lot of money. But I would say, yeah, maybe about, like, a million. Boy, to, like... You'd have to do uh, marketing, and you'd have to have legal and payroll, and people to find, you know, you'd have to hire a company to find people to work, to find employees, and you have to interview people, and then, you know, it would, it would take all the time away from, like, doing YouTube and stuff, too, so I'd have to put all my, f yeah, marketing, yeah, marketing itself would be about a couple, you know, a couple hundred thousand dollars just for that, because you, if you put all this money into making something, you, you'd want that people know about it so they could buy it. Oftentimes in video games, uh, even all the games that I cover and such, such as this game, not all these games, not everybody's going to find. You know, like a year from now, somebody's going to find out about Banished for the first time. Like, think about that. There's probably people out there who would love Minecraft who haven't even heard of it. Still, even yet, if, even after all the billions of dollars of marketing from Microsoft and, you know, the game being in every corner of the earth, there's probably somebody who would love it who still hasn't heard of it yet. So, and they and they'll buy it. And maybe they'll hear about it in the next couple months and it'll be their favorite game of all time. Like, who knows? Like, it's true. You know, there's people out there who haven't found City Skylines yet and probably still play, like, SimCity and stuff who just haven't heard of City Skylines. Crazy. Old World? Videos of Old World are on the channel. Actually, we did a giveaway for Old World yesterday on the Discord. Some of you guys aren't on the Discord to win free games, and it shows. But yeah, Chad, if you could send over that $5 million, that'd be great. Thanks, appreciate it. We'll get working on that game right away. Okay. They're not having a lot of children right now. I don't know how I feel about this. We need people hunting for the leather. All right, well, we need people at the sawmill, so let's go ahead and take those two and they hopefully will work there. There we go. Okay, so the sawmill will be making planks, so then we should have logs, planks, and then we'll have to just buy like wood and stone. For now, because it's going to take a lot of people, a lot of people to work at this place. I think the uh, the stone mine requires four people, or maybe five, so that's a lot. What's up, Aquain Bay? Good to see you. Hope you've been enjoying the... Uh, I saw you playing V Rising last night. I hope you're enjoying. Oh, dear. Boys. Going to be a good season. Look, he's just tempting us, like, ha, ah, you can't get me, la la la. <laughs> Alright, let's sell even more leather. We're gonna hold on to all that cash for now. Yeah, we're gonna get, get that veal, brother, amen. Let's make some veal out of that dead deer. Somehow. Yeah, th thanks to uh, Rick for moderating that uh, server as well as Dan and also, um, I think we've got, uh, well, Aquain, actually, anybody who's in that server, if you guys need anything, just like say so and we'll, we'll get you access if, if you guys are on there all the time. So, like, Alloy would be great. Well, whoever's on there the most, I think, would be a good fit. So that way, if something goes down, you guys can respond to it right away. That's always my biggest fear about the dedicated servers is, like, I don't mind paying for them or hosting them or promoting them or whatever, but I want to make sure if, if something happens, you guys don't have to wait on me because usually I'm, I'm busy. 
But I don't want you to wait on me. Wow, we got more leather in storage? Look at that, nine. That's crazy. Wait, how much leather can we hold at the warehouse? Only 60, okay. So if we don't sell it all, it's all gonna get backed up. Looks like they can hold 10 at the... 10 at the building. Was that a bear? No, there wasn't, there wasn't a bear there, no. I didn't see any bear chat. Did you see a bear? Yeah, I'd rather have 5 million subscribers than 5 million dollars. It's all good. Bear, what are you doing? Sir? So it's private pro- Sir? Hey! Get out of here. Don't make me put up a fa- Sir? Okay. Well, let's check those ages now. Yeah, so the people who were like 19 are now 22, and it's only been two months. Or maybe one month. I thought I think we started in May. Box them in with fences, yeah. I, I wonder if we could. <laughs> Low blow, thanks for the, uh, thanks for the, the 70, bro. Appreciate that. Come on, make babies. I want to make more houses, but... Yeah, we should probably do the houses first, now that we got the sawmill up. We better make sure everybody can live in a house so we have the highest potential to have more children. What puts Puritans in the, m the mood? Uh, Purell. Wait, I think I was going to build a church there. There we go. Thanks again, guys, for an amazing week, too, by the way, of all the crazy gifted memberships and joining me in, uh, like, V Rising and stuff. It's been really nice. So thanks again to everybody dropping those bombs and smack and join and, and smash and like and whatever else. It's been awesome, guys. Really, really been enjoying gaming a lot lately. I always say that, but it's just, like, it's been hitting different recently with all these cool builder games coming out. So thanks for being a part of it. It's been a lot of fun. Who is the Puritan equivalent of Marvin Gaye or Barry White? Uh, I, good question. Maybe they listened to Weird Al back then. That hardware store song just hits different. You know what I'm talking about. Alright, we're going to build another house here. Well, well, we'll we'll do one at a time. I already know where I'm gonna lay out the next ones. Fr Frisky Puritan is a good band name. Yes. All right, let's get to the uh, next month. So yeah, at night you can see. So the the couriers for the seller can only bring over one food at a time. Oh no, just a, I think they're actually limited to five. So the seller's bringing over all the stuff that they eat to replenish. So it's... The inn will eventually run out of food if you don't put people in the cellar to bring food to the, uh... To the inn. So you can have a ton of food in the cellar, but... 
If you don't have uh, anybody to transport it to the inn, it's over. It's over. Okay, the inn is working well. House is going up. We'll need to purchase some more stones for the next house. Eventually. Oh, they do have winter clothing. 15 out of 60. That's interesting because there's no way to actually store clothing. Or uh, to manufacture clothing. Or to purchase it. Maybe the expeditions will allow us to do that. Some more secrets remain. Alright, oh, looks like we can have 100 stones. Let's purchase some of those once... I don't want to overwhelm the warehouse. I want them focused first on bringing materials over to the houses. Because if you give them too many things to do, they won't know in which order to do them. Wow, that rain, though. Pretty. Wow, a lot of big uh, Weird Al fans in the chat. Wow. Oh, we're making a lot of good money. Yeah, the downpour is really nice. Um, I've looked into it a few times, and I still can't tell whether or not the rainfall waters the wheat like I've been watching it and it seems like it goes up but I can't I've watched that darn farm like three or four times and I, I still can't tell whether or not rain waters the crops or if it keeps it to a, like a certain level because like you have to have the farmer when you plant a field it's like at half hydration level so you want it to like be full you want it to be like fully watered but only the farmer can do that so I don't know if the rain keeps it to like a mid-level like, if, if hydration drops from 50% down to 25 and it rains, I think it goes back up to 50, but I think the farmer's required to get it to from 50 to 100 to increase yield. But I don't know what maximum yield is, so I, I want a lot more information from the farming. It does, can confirm? Okay. I, I gotta see, uh, I gotta see it work. You didn't even know Zoomers knew who Weird Al is? Yeah, I was probably in a TikTok. You know how it is. That's the way any communication goes on in the future. 25 years from now, people will be signing legal documents with Zoom or with uh, TikTok shorts and stuff. Like, oh, here's our wedding video. Eight seconds of a Mariah Carey song. There's the legal documentation of our marriage license. Oh boy. What's up, Uptown Pigeon? Good to see you. Okay, we need 12 stones delivered, and then this house will requires a few more planks, too. I know, yeah. Just what the world needs, right? More advertisements, yeah. Oh, there comes the rest of the planks. So now, just stones need to be delivered. So I'm going to order 25 at a time. So we're going to order 25 stone for now. Oh, oh boy, we got two. Oh, yes, we're up to 13. We got two kids. Louisa and Bobby have been born by the Hopkins family. The Winslow's got to step up. Unless they're too old. At 32 and 29. That can't be, though. 
All right, building another house. Your question is, do farmers auto-harvest or do I have to constantly tell them to? Yeah, that's the thing. I, I think you have to do it manually. I thought the harvest button was just there for if you... Like, if there was an emergency situation where you were just like, just harvest, just harvest. Like, no matter what the... You know, like, what the percentage of growth completion was. Like, if, if a crop isn't ripe or ready to be harvested, just go. But I think you have to do it manually, which kind of sucks. Because I don't know... <clears throat> I thought that each of the crops had a different grow time. It could be harvested at random times throughout the year. So, like, I think, you know, for example, corn probably grows faster than... Let's just say corn grows faster than potato. Well, then that means that the farmer has to... Once he harvests the crop, then they who are at the farm then need to plant the crop again. So the farmers could probably get a few like row cycles out of farm or something like that. Because like the game doesn't necessarily follow a traditional pattern. It's just like it's either on or off. Like when the farm hits winter, it's the game turns off the farm. So once the farm's active again, you can plant anything at any time and then it just has a growth time. It doesn't have like a season. It's just like if it's two months before winter and a certain crop just needs two months to grow, then you can plant it, even if it's like the middle of summer. And traditionally it's a spring crop or something like that, you know? Bum, 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 bum. <laughs> How's my wife in the restaurant? You mean Wendy's? She's probably fine. I'll have to go visit her soon. I'll have to drop in. All right, 21 more stones are stored on the boat after this house is done. So we have housing for... Oh, right. The only people who can also move into a house are uh, couples of the opposite sex. So we can only build one more house after this until Levisa is old enough to marry somebody at the shelter. And then that'll be the... F and she's the only unmarried person. One, two, three. And that'll be one. So we can build two more houses. You watch YouTube for the ads. Your adverts get interrupted by quality content. Oh. How did Wendy's ever break the mold and decide to go with square burger patties instead of round? Ah, marketing. Well, Burger King and uh, McDonald's had round patties. Wendy's is just like, eh, screw it, we'll go square. I mean, Wendy's had that campaign that people can still remember today. I'm not even going to mention what it is, but people in chat will start shouting it out. Sometimes marketing can be so good that you don't even have to, like... People will rem remember a campaign years after, uh, after it's over. Okay. Hi everyone, I'm new to the channel. What's up, Daskal? Good to see you. Hello, and welcome. Alright, house just needs two more stone delivered, and then we're done. That's another home ready to go. Hi Raptor, another city builder. How do you handle it all? Uh, some of these are often similar, because they're based on life. If you're gonna make firewood, it's no matter how you're making firewood, it's traditionally always made the same. I, I can I can tell you about like countless games that have firewood, but all of them are all different in how you acquire the wood and stuff. So a lot of these games are very similar yet very different at the same time. It's like um, some games are like chess, some games are like checkers. Chess and checkers are a little different, but you know the boards look the same. Like, wait a minute. You move pieces on a checkered pattern? You can move diagonally or straight ahead or depending on the piece, it has different rules. All oh, these games are exactly the same. It's like, uh, not quite. But they're very familiar. Bum, bum. 
Okay, so... This house is now ready. Excellent. And we can have one more married couple move in. Actually, it was there. There we go. Okay, so that should be the last of the houses that we can build. You don't like Popeyes? What? Channel is dangerous for my healthy diet, tempting me to binge on fast food. Well, I mention that all the time, but there is nothing better than like a homemade... Uh, like sometimes a, a good old salad can be quite nice with a few other good ingredients. Not everything always has to be like a heavy meal. Sometimes light meals are really good. Heavy meal can make you really tired. It's very satisfying and nice to eat like at a, you know, like on a long week or something like that. But sometimes there's meals that give you a lot of good energy, have a lot of good uh, fresh ingredients in there. These people aren't walking, they're just they're just hovering in. No feet animations? Unplayable. You know what's really good though? It's like um like a homemade taco with all the fresh ingredients. That's that's what I'm talking about. Like Fresh tomato, maybe get some different peppers or something like that. Oh, especially if you've got a home garden and you're growing something like some green beans or some cherry tomatoes. Oh, man. Green beans, cherry tomatoes, like a squash. Those guys are, well this is just witchcraft, that's all. Hey. Looks like they're bringing over eggs and fish? Eggs and fish, yeah. We don't have any bread there, but we have 17 in storage. Also, I noticed the game labels wait for things, but I don't know what that means exactly. Like, 30 corn equals weight 2. 17 bread me means weight 13. But I don't know if that means carrying weight for the workers, so does that make them walk slower? Like, I don't really know what that means. Anyway, let's speed up. Oh, there they go. They're delivering the bread now. So they'll deliver the rest of the food, and then we'll... Uh, make the one remaining house. I also have noticed that the leather production, and this seems to be true, every, um... I don't know if it's, um... I don't know if leather production slows down, like, in the... If it's seasonal, or if it's how long the camp has been around. In other words, I don't know if, like, if, for example, if it's, uh, if it's February, are there just less deer around versus if it's, like, June? Or if there's actually, like, I don't know if the game, like, continuously respawns animals or if there's a finite amount. I'm not sure how it's all calculated. Do I play only these types of games? I've been playing some different games. 
two live streams of different games every day on the channel plus a new video pretty much every day there's a lot to see on the channel that's why it's worth subbing for free smashing like for free and uh checking out all the videos for free and the, all the live streams for free join the discord for free get giveaways on the discord for free Hey, we have a new baby. All right. Hopkins family working on their third kid. Let's step it up, everybody else. Oh, boy. I hope these houses are within range. Oh, boy. All right, the next thing we really need to build is a church, but I think we should have empty houses for our population to expand. Bobby is already six years old. This house just requires two more planks. Nope, now it just requires 12 stone. Which we put 23 remaining in the cellar warehouse and 13 remaining on the ship. You like the game I played called Server Ties? Oh, I think you, you mean like uh, Surviving the Aftermath? Also, one thing I've noticed in this game, too, is it gets very rainy in the uh, late summer and autumn season. So there seems to be... Um, the rain doesn't necessarily seem to be random. It seems to be um, based on actual weather patterns, maybe. Like, obviously, it's going to snow in the winter, but it seems like different seasons have different things happen for frequency of rain. We now have 14 people in the camp. Can you believe that? Three births. Fifteen leather. I'll sell that. Uh, this game is new and it's not yet complete, so it's um, this is just kind of a demo of an incomplete uh, build, basically. But since this team is small and since they're new, I think they're trying to drum up support and attention and such, so that way they can, when they do release their game, they can try to take all those funds to... A lot of companies now that are indie like to eventually develop their game more and more over time. Like, for example, if you look at Stardew Valley when Stardew Valley first came out, Stardew Valley, when it first released, looks way, way different than it does now. And if you don't believe me, just go back and, like, look at some of the photos of Stardew Valley and, like, the character portrait designs and how the world used to look and the UI and stuff. But everybody liked the concept of that game, and so the developer of Stardew Valley was eventually able to, you know, like, take all the money that they'd received from the initial success of the game and then you know, spend more and more of their time and money into making the game more appealing to everybody. All right, we're going to spend a hundo here on 50. 50 wood. Look at all those trees. Stardew was also a solo project. Yeah, for the most part. I mean... They didn't do everything, like there's still marketing and maybe music and a few other legal things. I always think of that when I when I talk about game development. I don't even think it's just like the people designing the game or programming, but there's like a whole like back end support like there's there's so many people that support the people that have to like make those games, you know. Like even if somebody's working out of their house, there's still like you know, there's still like family who I don't know, might 
give them some extra cash so they can buy some software or something like that, or a friend who they pay like 50 bucks to do something for them or something that they can't do themselves. Like they're, you know, it's hard for one thing to just be done by one person nowadays. Completely. But for the most part, yeah. Lucas Pope is another, uh, Toby Fox, Lucas Pope, and, uh, I forget what the guy's name is, uh, who makes Stardew Valley. He's got a, his Twitter is what, Concerned Ape or something like that? Not, not the NFT. It's like, bored, no, not bored. I forget. But anyway, you get what I'm saying. Yeah, my summer car. Yeah, well, when we get, you know, when we get individuals making funny games like that, it's great when people get, support games like My Summer Car because it shows that people don't really necessarily always want to play Battlefield 2042. And if we did, boy, would that suck because that game was atrocious. Which sucks because there was some great people who worked on that game who were talented who were just doing their job and doing what they were told to, to make a game that they were told to make. But well, we all know who how EA operates, you know. Also, give me money. Huh? Oh, that's just a minor fee. Not a big deal. Raptor NFTs win. Well, I guess technically, like, the emotes and stuff that you guys utilize are NFTs, right? If you become a member, then you get limited access to a emote that you can spread in the chat. But eh, it's all in good fun, you know. Because we do we do a lot of emotes that are kind of only relevant for the time too. Like when we played uh, Ghost of Tsushima, I think we had some like some ninja emotes and stuff for that game. But now that we're not playing that game, it would it wouldn't be like relevant. So we're always creating new stuff all the time. Oh my goodness, we have 15 people in the camp? Wow! The Hopkins family is hop, like, hop as in rabbits, as in they're doing something like rabbits. Look at that, we got four out of five children, they can have five kids, nobody else. Everyone has yet to, uh, to score. No one else on the leaderboard, step it up. Winslow family, Clemens family, and the Byers family not doing anything. Meanwhile, Hopkins on their fourth consecutive win with Bobby almost being age 10, which makes him old enough to work as a backup at the uh, hunter. He can become a hunter. The boy can go hunting. And that's going to mean a lot of meat for the camp, and that's going to mean a lot of leather for sale for more materials. Good job. Well, let's try the, uh... Let's try the church, finally. Try to keep that happiness up. That's the thing I'm most concerned about, is happiness. It's funny how we're putting, like, the farming before... I mean, the church and the houses had to be built before the farms. Everybody's mostly going to just be eating meat. But we have better storage capacity for other things. So, like, we can store... Um, 50 corn can be stored, but only 20 meat. But it must have to do something with the meat not lasting as long as corn. Wow, potatoes, we can hold 100? Okay. Okay. So we should definitely build the farm. But we're not going to be able to use it until next year, so... We may as well build some other stuff. That's weird. I turned down the sounds for... Wait, what?
<laughs> Thank you, low blow. For the big O ten. Well seventy. Thank you. Yeah, I'm I'm only building buildings that increase happiness. Hap happiness is incredibly important in this game. Like look at this. The Hopkins family is down to fifty nine. Wait a minute. Barney Hopkins' health is down to 38. Why? They have plenty of food. We're able to feed everybody. Strength and intelligence are only job related. Health is at 37, happiness is at 57. Hunger, energy. Energy is. Energy's going down because he's at work. Well, actually, now he's not. No, he is. For another hour and a half. Or two hours. Well, now an hour. I don't think energy has to do with health. I think it should only I think it's only hunger related. Wait, yeah, why are they still working? Oh, that's midnight at the bottom, okay. Now they're eating. Hunger went up to 85. Oh, so health should increase. 41. And when they go to eat, by the way, their their hunger doesn't go up by... Like, you can't replenish it to 100. You, they have to eat several meals before it goes up to 100. So, like, there's no way to get them to eat more than they can eat in their free time. But you can't, like... You can't tell them to, like, work for four hours, take an hour break, and then work for another four hours. Like, you have to tell them to work for a certain period of time, and then they have free time where they can go and do that. Jan just dropped it a gifted membership. Thank you very much. Low blow, getting that gifted membership. Awesome. Thank you very much for dropping a big old gift bomb in the chat, dude. If you guys are looking to get that uh, gifted bomb, make sure you hit that allow button. Yeah, I, I'm not sure. So it, it's related to energy and hunger? But his health is... Health is 50. Energy is... Health is... Well, wait. Happiness is 69. Nice. But I think hunger and energy contribute to health, and health contributes to happiness? These four are connected. Health, hunger, happiness, and energy are related, but I'm not sure how. I don't know what affects what. Do you need a town doctor? Yes, we're building the church now. Because God help you if you got sick in uh, 1621. It's basically GG. Oh, dude, did you step your toe? Oh, okay. We'll get the funeral ready. Uh, yes, people's health will drop when they get older. But only when they're in, like, their 70s. And these people are only 44. Dear God. Well, again, 44 in 1621 was basically 88. Have I played the second Jurassic Park building game? Yep, there's there's videos and live streams up of Jurassic World Evolution 2. Pretty cool. They're on the channel. You name it, I've played it. More than likely. Alright, so the warehouse team is now bringing over... Wow, the whole family there. Saving the camp, ladies and gentlemen, the Hopkins family. Awesome. So once the kids are old enough, they once I think they reach the age of 10. Or no, Bob, Bobby's still living at home at 11. But at a certain age, they move out. I think when they're old enough to... When they're old enough to have kids, then they move out. So once they're born, they stay at home until they're old enough to 
have children, but they can start working at age 10. And now, Bobby's working at the hunting lodge, doing tanning or something. Or hunting himself, whatever. Okay, so now we have the woodcutters going to open up again as soon as there's more workers. We have 29 wood still on the ship that they need to bring over. So the warehouse workers will go to the ship and then carry it back, just like they are there. Yeah, the, the Hopkins family, world championship uh, baby making, 1621. Let's never forget a salute to the real heroes. Circle 7 salute and salute emote. All right, so the church requires an insane amount of materials. It requires wood, planks, and stones. And it requires 40 planks, 40 wood, I mean 60 planks, and 10 stone. And once, um, once the church is complete, my hope is that it'll just keep increasing happiness. Some of these people have dropped to like the 40s. So it's basically over for them. If they don't get them happiness numbers up. That's why, like, it's funny. Happiness is way more important than like food and everything else. Because like, sure, you could have a ton of food in the camp, but if no one's happy, no more babies. So thus, with nobody else coming in, that's it. But luckily we have plenty of potatoes, corn. We'll definitely need to start farming next year, but that means the, uh... Oh, nice. Looks like we've got... Yep, people old enough to start taking jobs elsewhere. Okay. So let's make the church a priority, but we're gonna build the farm next. Nice thing about the farm, too, is we can grow tobacco there and sell it. But for now, leather will be fine. We'll build the farm here. Is happiness lower during the winter months? Um, it might be if you don't provide firewood or clothing to your people, winter clothes. And I see winter clothing in our storage, in our warehouse. Winter clothes are at 15 out of 60, but I don't see a way to actually purchase more clothing at the moment or to make it. Like I don't see a tailor. I don't see sheep, but I'm assuming those are things that'll come in the future for being able to make more clothes. What kind of animal livestock can you have? Um, chickens and pigs so far. But, like I mentioned, there's going to be many different settlements in this game. Like right now we're only at Plymouth, but maybe in Bermuda there'll be different types of animals available. Or maybe Charleston, you know, maybe traditionally some settlements maybe had way more chickens and never had any pigs maybe there'll be just cows and chickens in one who knows it'll be interesting to see though i would like it so that way each settlement was different but i would also like a, a free build mode too where you can give yourself access to pretty much anything wherever you know yeah no we we can go other places than just massachusetts in the future like you know cape cod is here but eventually we will be able to go to like Charleston and Williamsburg and stuff. Uh, there is, there's a fishing building, but the people will go down to the shore to fish. You, c you can't build a dock, but there is a shoreline for them to go fishing at. Yeah, I hear a lot of good things about Sniper uh, Elite 5. It takes place in France, 1944. It reminds me of that game Saboteur. A little bit. We'll be playing that on the channel, too. 
I did. I was going to try to play Sniper Elite 5 with Bradford tomorrow, but I think he's going to be busy. But we'll see who wants to play. Maybe we can get Jerry in on it. Yeah, Sniper Elite's dumb fun. Sniper Elite to me always feels like the Hitman games. But it's kind of like open world, World War II sniper. Go, go shoot people and stuff and things. Blow stuff up. Like, oh no, there's an armored... Oh, there's a tiger tank. There's no way your sniper rifle's ever gonna... Oh, you shot the gas tank and made it explode. Wow, you were super awesome. <laughs> it's so dumb. I love it. It's dumb fun. You know, like you can blow up a tank with a sniper rifle. It's, it's cool. Sixteen people are in our camp? Wow. Nobody else is having babies, but we tried. I tried to use everything I learned to try to make... Make more room for everybody. Uh, so there's three dudes left in there. I wonder... I wonder what the earliest possible age is that somebody can get married and have children in the game and then have the child age 10 years and then how, how like, if, if you could have two waves of Watch out. Kids. I had a handful of ancestors running around during the 1600s with some native stealing hogs. Bacon. Uh, thanks, not Stephen Colbert. Appreciate it for the five. Thank you. Oh, there's the snow. All right, we got snow. Okay, we just need to deliver about 30 more planks and 10 stone. Uh, people are going straight to the lumber mill. You got a jar of dirt. Is that a Saving Private Ryan reference? Okay, there's eight wood remaining. Oh, Pirates of Caribbean. Oh. Yeah, the, the seasonal changes are very nice in the game. And the snow, too. There'll be some blizzards as well where the temperatures will really drop. Right now we're at negative 8.6 Celsius. It can drop to like 16, 20. And then bop back up to like negative 8. A heat wave. Don't need those winter clothes at negative 8. field will be built afterwards 10 wood and 20 planks for that and then hopefully we can start farming in the spring I don't think we can start farming until like April which seems really late fencing gaming hello good to see you Now we just gotta wait till morning. Let's take a look at the ages now. Remember, the oldest people were 30, now they're 52. The youngest people were like 20 at the time, and now they're thir they're almost 40. And it's only f January. It's been like eight months. <laughs> you like the channel? Well, thank you for watching. Yeah, I appreciate all you guys' support. Thanks for being here. You guys are great. Dude, num number one community on YouTube. Voted 10 time back-to-back -back victories. 
Uh oh. Damn you, Byers. Something is wrong with my health. Uh oh. We'll see what happens. Alright, let's get the wood up a little bit. Let's do like 50. Let's do a 50 stack of wood. I think we're okay on stone for now. Yeah. Work experience is an important thing in the game, too. If you have somebody work a job the entire... their entire life, they'll become really productive around their, like, late 20s all the way to their early 40s. Health is low at 19 out of 100. Energy, 72. Hunger, 61. Happiness, 0. Happiness, 0. Literally, 0. The developers did come in during one of our previous live streams, or the li previous live stream, and did say that that was an issue that they were working to correct. It might be because the shelter is literally at negative 15, and if somebody lives there, they just they die of unhappiness? But the only way to bring that happiness up would be to, like... If the shelter is negative 15, we would have to build, like, two wells next to it just to bring it to positive 5. But, since the uh, shelter is also next to the... The sawmill, I think the sawmill has some negative effects. Oh boy. We'll have to see what happens. Anyway, people are moving out of the, uh, Hopkins house. Got to get that church up. Well, eventually when some of the older people in our camp die off, uh, the homes will become vacant, so we won't need to build too many. We're going to have to have like a little bit of a population dip for the people who we started with who get really old. And then, oh, it's, it's going to come in waves, isn't it? Because it seems like everybody's going to, everybody who was in their 20s, or, well, actually, since all these kids were kind of born at the same time, No matter what, everybody should die around 100. If they, uh... I don't know. Uh, decor around the shelter? Uh, decorations, I think, are only aesthetics. They don't increase happiness, unfortunately. Yeah, death waves. Meaning that everyone will... Like, no matter what, people in this game will die at the age of 100, so, you know, if you get if you get 50 babies born in the same year, it's going to be 50 deaths when they all reach 100. Uh, Raptor, were members automatically made eligible for gifted memberships, or did they have to manually allow? Everybody who's been gifted a membership has to, autom uh, has to manually turn it on, and then they'll be automatically given a membership if they've turned it on and they happen to be in the chat. I think some other things are you all, you have to also be subscribed to the channel that you're watching. You have to be subscribed to the channel that you're watching and you also have to be active in the chat. So, yeah. So, I guess just to be safe, if you're interested in getting a membership, subscribe and then put a one in the chat as soon as you can. I think YouTube, it's all by the algorithm or by the system, and I think it checks to see if A, you're sub to the channel, and B, that you're active in the chat before, even if you've clicked allow. I, I think you still have to be, like, active. But, you know, YouTube, it's like, they like to make things as complicated and... Church is taking forever to build? I know. 
We just need to deliver 10 stones. We've got all the materials. All right, people are reporting health issues, but... People are down to 15, but what's the real issue? Happiness is zero. So happiness must be associated with health. It must provide some sort of debuff. So I would assume that if somebody is... If they don't have any food, that can bring them all the way to zero. But it looks like there's multiple contributing factors to overall health. So if somebody has a lot of energy and they're fully fed, but their happiness is zero, it's probably going to bring them down a bit. So it looks like food, energy, and happiness all contribute to health. But as to how much, I don't know. Hey, what's up, Oki Rogue? Good to see you. Uh, firewood is not a factor in the game yet, and neither is winter clothing. From what the developer said, but I do see it listed here in the warehouse, but there's no way for us to buy or manufacture winter clothing. But it has been reported that perhaps there is something to do with the expeditions. There might be a way to build the, uh, what do they call it? The expedition center? If we build an expedition building, we should be able to explore other areas along the Massachusetts coast and maybe find other people who want to join us or something, or, or to trade with. We can open up trade routes, maybe, and maybe that'll get us winter clothing. Kent! Kent just dropped a five bomb in the chat. Make sure you guys have your membership gifting turned on to allow so you can claim all those big O memberships. Also, for some of you guys, you get your membership. You might see uh, like your membership gift like refunded or something like that. I, I guess because it's beta, like YouTube will like undo it or something like that if there's an issue or whatnot. So, if you gifted a membership and it said it was refunded or something, feel welcome to try again. But it's probably on. It's probably on YouTube being broken. Not necessarily that anybody denied it or had it turned off. Because I know there's a lot of people here who want a membership and they just don't. And they have it turned on, they just don't receive it, so... And Calrid with another big 05! Alright, there you go. Make sure you guys are accepting your gifted memberships. You guys got a ton of emotes and extra perks waiting for you. And also, because of that, all of you are also welcome to our Discord for our dedicated servers in V-Rising if you want to play that game, too. That really fun vampire, like, building game and stuff with castles and whatnot. A lot of fun. Congratulations to all you guys. How am I doing? I am good. Thank you for asking. I'm uh, really curious to see how this game works. Oh, we did it. We did it. We did it. The church is up. Let's make sure the, uh, the wheat field is the next priority. Yep. Okay, so now hopefully we can do farming in the spring. Hopefully this is done by like May? Yeah, I don't see anybody who uh, received those memberships either, but that doesn't mean that nobody received them. That's what I'm telling you guys. Everything's always broken on YouTube, so make sure you uh, bypass their systems and their failures. Always follow every channel that you love on Twitter. Make sure you're in every single Discord. Make sure you've got the notification bell turned on and check channels that you love every day. It's almost like you got to do YouTube as a full-time job just to, uh, like, literally be notified of something that you wanted to watch once. So... Make sure you bypass them and get what you want for yourself. Gotta do it. A yeah. Yeah, the DMCA and the ads, those will work every time, no fail. Yep. Making sure uh, creators get hit for a four second song and DMCA, that, that's, that, that'll never fail. And uh, those ads, dude, that server, all the servers that play those ads, are in the same uh, bunker from War Games with Matthew Broderick. The Whopper is, uh, that, that thing will last for an eternity. Don't you worry. Eight consecutive 45 hour non skippables. Oh, also, check out uh, YouTube Shorts. <laughs> All right, well, just make sure you're all active in the chat and click that allow button so you don't miss out on all the stuff people are trying to 
trying to give you in the chat. Because we got the best chat ever. All right, we got three people with low, ha zero happiness, and that's brought their health to... It looks like we got low health, but it's associated with happiness. But it's got to be because they're living in the shelter. There doesn't seem to be any way to make anybody happy who lives in the shelter. Aside from maybe getting them to church. But the goal is to make sure nobody lives at the shelter. And to get them the hell out of there as soon as possible to start a family. Which now that we have somebody living here at the age of 23, we better build another house. Maybe Adblock is blocking the allow button. Uh, maybe. If you guys are watching on your phone or something, don't be afraid to, like, fire up your PC and see if you can claim your memberships that way, too. You can always watch on your, uh, alternative device. If you're on PC, grab your phone. If you're on your phone, check your PC quick. Oh, yeah, the church, we need to make sure we do that at night, yeah. The church has got to be set up like the inn. So people can go to the inn and go to the church. Actually, we should do the church like this. No, we'll do it like that. Oh, come on. Yeah, I think that'll be fine. All right, so hopefully we'll have... All right, so we got a lot of people going to the inn. Oh, yeah, there are crazy numbers in there. So it looks like food being delivered is now a problem. So let's go ahead and increase the number of people working at the... Okay, we need to start switching around some of these jobs. Okay, so food absolutely, positively needs to get delivered to the inn. The wheat field needs to be built. Oh man, this is crazy. Things are going to start getting more complicated now. I don't want any more woodcutters. Let's get everybody else in other jobs. I think it, it might be safer for us to just have purchased all the wood that if we buy the wood. Let's buy a hundo again. 100, 100 coin worth of it. Okay, so we got a ton of we got a ton of wood on the boat. I think we need to, just need to get more people working at the uh, the warehouse. I'm gonna cut the sawmill down a little bit. All right, so the wheat field is closed for March, but it should open maybe next month. We need to make sure we restock the uh, inn and start farming. Raptor, I've been in mobile and PC and not seeing the option to allow anywhere. Well, that's because you're already a member. If you guys are a member already, you can't accept a gifted membership because you're already a member. So if you're if you're already a member, you can't like accept a member because you're a member. But if you're on an alternative account, you might you might see it. Although maybe YouTube can detect that. I I, I don't know. All I can tell you is. Uh, if you see allow, smash allow, and hopefully the system will work. Thanks again to everybody dropping those gifted memberships. And, uh, 
If it gets refunded for any reason, I, I hope you feel welcome to try again. If it, uh, if it doesn't go through. Some of you who are not members are not seeing it as well. Awesome, YouTube. Great. You sh YouTube should just send me the $5 million so I can start my own game studio for emotional damages for just torturing us every year. YouTube is great. It's just like, this year on YouTube, we're thinking about maybe starting to talk about having the discussion of maybe thinking about discussing the possibility of having the discussion about maybe thinking about talking. We'll see you next year. YouTube, we care. Wait, what are we talking about? When? Wait, what? Okay, well, we've implemented this new feature called the not subscribe button. We've taken away everybody's ability to subscribe to any channel that they're interested in. We'll, YouTube, we'll decide. We're excited about the new opportunity for us to decide for you. We're excited. <laughs> YouTube, because we say so. All right, there's 83 wood waiting on the ship. So we need the warehouse to go drop off all that stuff. Everybody just had... Everybody should be eating at the... Oh, it looks like barley's not eaten by the people. It's only the... Uh... Oh, there we go. The guy's making meals for everybody. Everybody's having bacon. Wow, look at that. So it's like the first possible year we can get wheat and we're like already out of food. Damn, this game is challenging as hell. I, I can't grow any food. What this game really needs is like a gathering hut. We need the ability to like go and gather food. Berries and apples and fruits and stuff. Uh, the, the cellar acts as the food building. Also, the uh, fishery can be built anywhere. Produces fish can be built anywhere. And fishermen will go to the nearest water source to catch dinner. So you could build it over by the lake too. Like over here. But the problem is, if I build the fishing dock, it's going to take a lot of time, a lot of materials, and of course, more people. More labor. Essentially, we just got to keep building houses, 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 so the people at the shelter can... There's now two ladies in the shelter. They probably want to get married to move out, but they have nowhere to live. Rap, do you have any more funny comments on the videos from the Angry Clown? No, I probably moved on to somebody else. Alright, so now the warehouse the warehouse is going all the way out to the boat to bring wood back. And they're bringing wood back to go to the to the house. Interesting. Well, let's not get discouraged, guys. For those of you wanting to win those gifted memberships, uh, just just kind of keep an eye on chat. Maybe sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. It's in beta, so we'll see. We'll be getting access to you know all the time. YouTube will give us access to new features and stuff that we'll be able to test out. So I guess because it's beta doesn't always mean that it's working. Uh, 
bum, bum. We need more options, though, so that way we can uh, make our people happier without just building, like, ha like, the only thing we can do for happiness is, like, a church, a well, a house, and, like, an inn. And what's weird is that, like, the cellar apparently gives happiness, but it's like you'd think the fact that the cellar provides food, that's where the happiness would come from. Now, April. Nobody works there at April. Uh, yep, I saw the new No Man's Sky update. Maybe we'll check that out soon. People are saying they need more sleep. Oh yeah, go to bed. Oh, what's up with all these alerts and alarms? Hold on, let's... Red Kirby, where does he live? He lives at the shelter. He works at the hunter's lodge. Do we cut back on the o the office hours? Cut back on the hours a little bit. I don't know about cutting back on the cellar, though. That's all food related. Although I don't think we need this many people here anymore. The only thing we have now is meat. The warehouse needs to be full. Has anybody been able to go to the church? Gonna shrink the hours of the sawmill. We need more wood than planks now. Time to start storing some materials for a little while. Yeah, the church needs to be open at night. That's when everybody's off. Same with the inn. Ah, uh, yeah, you you start with an inn, which is like a tavern. Although I don't think we can make alcoholic beverages or anything at the moment. What is going on? Alright, so we have 76 wood on the boat. So they just need to offload the boat now. People from the cellar bringing over food. When are we getting the expedition center? Well... We gotta make sure we get some of these other things dealt with. I need to make sure that the people are constantly moving into houses and having children. Otherwise, we're not gonna have anybody to do the jobs. The, the happiness thing is really crippling everything. Right now we have like one unemployed person who we need to have work at the farm as soon as as soon as the farm can be opened it's now april but we can't do any farming yet
Do you have to be more selective about what people do what jobs? Well, at the start, you just try to have people do whatever you can, so that way something can get done. Hold on. The farm's ready now. Ready to go. For, gonna go for food. And since we can store more potatoes, let's go with that. Okay, so the farmer has access to a well. Ah, uh, no, there's no way to save your game. Um, we can build any buildings at any time. But for as many times as I've played this, I think this is our best run yet. I mean, we, we have a population that's pretty damn close to 20, which is a lot for this one. But more importantly, we're, we're getting a lot of food made now. Notice how the farmer goes all the way to the well. Even though there's water in the cellar. We have 30 water in the cellar. Just across the street. He has to walk all the way to the well. Well, we built the well there for the town so they could have the increased happiness so we could have the children. To make the farmer more effective, we might want to build a well across the street. But we have everybody at the warehouse delivering stuff now. Let's get one person on the farm. Okay, so now we have increased food production. So now we're making corn and potatoes. We got meat coming in from the hunter. And we have 15 flour, but we have to make it in a bakery first. And of course, that means more... A ton of more materials and other things, which is great. I think we should build another well, though. But let's build it near the shelter. Maybe it'll... Nah, let's build it across the street so the farmer doesn't have to go so far. Okay, wood is 61. Oh yeah, God of War. I don't know... When does the new God of War come out? Actually, I think it might be the end of the year, but there's no uh, confirmation on that. Can you buy food from the trader? Um, no, there's no... Well, there might be trade that we can do in the future. Like, for example, there are missions that we can go to the natives or to the... There's another town, but we have to build an expedition center first. How was waste dealt with? Uh, it doesn't really exist. Oh, it's, yeah, the end of the year, okay. Wow, we got 16 people, but... Everything's like a happiness stun lock now. 41 so they won't they won't have children. All right, if we start reducing the workday Yeah, we're going to start giving everybody 8-hour days or less. Farmer's going to have to work 12 hours, though. It's our only source of food because we don't have any gathering or anything. Let's make the inn open from here to here. The church open from here to here. 
All right, so our goal is going to try to get people to go from work to the inn, and then from the inn to church, and then to bed, and then start work again. Uh, JD Mon, thank you very much for the support. Appreciate that. Thank you very much for becoming a, ra a little raptor. Let's get some green eyes in the chat. Thank you very much for all the support. New member, welcome. Green eyes in the chat. Yes, eventually you'll be able to build defenses and things. It's hard, to tr it's hard to try to get them to go to all the services to get all the stuff that you built. Also, for these crops, I don't know when they're ready. Like, is it when this green thing is fully... Like, the blue, I think, is irrigation. And the green thing, I think, is like... I, I don't know. I can't read the farming thing. I'm, I'm not sure. Everybody wants sleep, everybody wants more food, everybody wants more happiness. Our, our option, their needs are important, but our options to getting them their needs are like really limited. Okay, the well just needs 15 more stone delivered. I don't know if we have enough stone. Let's order a little bit more. If you have to babysit the farm to tell them to harvest, that's kind of annoying. I hope that's not the case. Let's do 50 stone and 50 wood. Actually, I don't think we'll be able to do that. We'll buy as much as we can. They were set to 12 hours working. That probably lowered the health and happiness. Well, it lowered their energy, which maybe lowered their... See, I don't know how... I don't know. Like, do they feed into each other? Like, does low happiness and lower energy, and so thus low energy lowers happiness? Like, is it compounded? It's hard to tell. Like, it all seems like a cycle, right? Like, low health means low energy, which means low happiness, which means low health, which means low energy, which means low happiness. Like, it, it's hard to tell what, where it flows to and how, how it affects them. We're building a well across from the farm, though, so that way they don't have to walk so far for the water. Man, look at this. They, like, like there's a, there's an inn, there's a house, there's a well, there's a church, yet still not enough. This is the, the settlement of well-to-do. My goodness. I have not enough monocles in which to eat my caviar from. Oh, how am I to manage? It's like dealing with the artisans. You were able to log into the dedicated server? Excellent, Alloy. Welcome aboard, dude. Yeah, you'd think people would have no problem working sun up to sundown because it's like, well, you have two options. Uh, you can either die now or die later. <laughs> Those are your options. Well, nobody died, though. We're still at 16, but it's a stun lock because... Wait a minute, wait a minute. We might already be dead. Hold on. We got 23, 25, 28, and 30. Okay. I think anybody over 50 is out. So all these people are basically just walking corpses. I hate to say it, but that's it. Like, 
All these people, according to the game's rules, cannot have children, so thus they won't continue. They won't contribute to the uh, the next wave. So it's going to be 23, 25, 28, 30. So we get basically two male, two female, and that's it. That's that's the only hope, dude. That's 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 the final straw. Hopefully, they're those are the people in these houses. Nope, 53. Can we not kick them out of this house? Like, hey, get out of here. Their relatives also? Well, you know, desperate times. I'm sorry, but... It's just a game. The game doesn't know that. All right, um, I guess we'll try to harvest from the farm now. I can't tell what the yield's going to be. I, I don't have any feedback on this. Like, the blue's got to be irrigation. I thought the green was, like, process for growing. I'm just going to say harvest. Screw it. All right, let's just speed up time. Okay, so everybody is basically working in the food industry now. So anybody else who can work either has to transport food or materials to transport more food. Let's see. Yeah, that's another thing too, is that the council, op like a lot of the options I think to make the game more easier through innovation, like for example, council leadership and other developments of technology and whatnot are absent from the game. So like the ability to set policies and the ability to, you know, do, do more things to get your people to be happier by giving them more options. Yeah. We just need the well to be complete. Three more stones, and then the well will be across from the wheat field, and we might have ourselves a farm. Okay, are, th are there still, like, the alerts popping up? It's not making the noise much anymore. Massive amount of health down to one. And our first death. Wow, it just makes a little grave. Get, get out of here. It's just hard to like give your people everything they need. Uh, yeah, the tombstone. Man, it's just like once once the nose dive happens, there's just like no saving it. It's like, dude, everybody's got clothing, food, bed, religion. But the sawmill over there kind of pisses me off, so I'm not going to have babies. <laughs> and that's it. They're holding the future of the new world right there. Oh, dude, I got everything I need. I had a great meal last night. I got some warm clothes, firewood, got a nice cozy house, the church is right over there, got some nice friends, but you know what? Not really happy about the, uh, the warehouse being within sight of my window, so, yep, nope, nope, I'm good, not gonna make babies, nope. And then that just compounds the problem, because then you can't get more people to, like, do the work. 
Yeah. It's all Kappa. All right, well, now we're making potatoes and corn. That's going to the uh, cellar. Now we're from six down down from 16 to 14. Damn, dude. <laughs> as many times as I play this, it is so hard to unwe unravel the mystery. Make a cash crop? Well, we don't really need cash at the moment. Actually, we're almost stunlocked. Once once these people once we've got like nobody under 40, I think it's over. Yeah, the developers need to slow down the aging and like increase the um slow down the aging and slow slow down the uh the unhappiness debuff. Because, like, when you've got, like, two days... It's, like, two days of your entire life you can mate. It's like it's like being a gnat or something like that. Except these people live for, like, a hundred years. Two days out of a hundred years that you can have children. If you miss that window, it's over. Well, there comes all the food to the cellar. So we got meat coming in, we've got potatoes and corn coming in. I can't, I don't even see anybody going to the church. I'm shutting it all down. Everybody's got to work in food production. Oh, the shelter was wiped out. Oh, it's over, boys. Yep. The nose is too heavy. We're in we're in full free fall. Tobacco and leather sell for two, wood and wheat for one. Yeah. Well, the money's fine, but, like, we've got 38 stone and 84 wood sitting there, so we just need somebody to offload the boats. We don't really need to buy anything. But now it's just the unhappiness stun lock. And the, the problem here, too, is that there's people living in these houses that aren't going to have children. So, like, the 66-year-old Amelia Clemens needs to move back in the shelter we can make room for other couples that might want to move in to have children like th that's got to be the thing is that it's like hey I hate to break it to everybody but between 20 and 35 that's the only time you can live here if you haven't pumped out a baby in that time it's out you're out back to the shelter that's it oh by the way uh, your 20s and 30s last two days <laughs> like the shelter is like a bachelor it's it's kind of weird it's a it's a bachelor pad on one side and a retirement home on the other Yeah, it's time to move grandma to a home or like you could have a single person in this house like let's just say you had a man and a woman living together and they were both happy but then maybe this game will have freak accidents in the future like how banished has it where someone will just get crushed by a rock like literally or um they'll die in a fishing accident so it's like if two happy people are living together they're going to have babies and one of them dies it's like well sorry ma'am time to go because according to the game's rules but, like, I can't fire her from her house. Like, I can't right-click and kick her out. Like, there's no way to evict. Like, look at this. It's just, bat it's just Bachelorville now. Everybody... Okay, well, there we go. That wiped that out. Oh, that's it. We went from 16 to 6. Damn this game to hell. Damn it. All right, it all went wrong when we built the church. I hate to say it, but... It all went to hell when we wasted time and resources on something nobody went to anyway. It's like a public library in 2022. It's over. <sighs> uh, do I need the DLC or just the base game for the V Rising server? Uh, the, the DLC is just cosmetic, so you don't need it. But if you do get the DLC... You can get it at any time and still join the server. So you don't need it, but if you do get it, you can still join the server. It's all good. No, you can't demolish buildings. There is no way to demolish buildings. All 
All right, let's just wait till we see the game over screen. Like, dude, it, it's basically game over when you have somebody over 30. Like, if anybody in the camp is over 30, it's over. That's it. It's got it's Logan's Run. That's it. Logan's Logan's Run presents Colonize. Once somebody's over 27, it's time to put them down. Like, that's it. Oh, you're 28 now? Time to go to the home, Grandpa. <sighs> I'd like to apologize. I didn't subscribe until this moment. I'm a big fan of the Anno 1800 series. Didn't realize I wasn't a subscriber. Oh, thanks, dude, for subscribing. Appreciate that. Thank you. This game, it's not even a challenging game. It's more like, it, it's, like I said at the very beginning when we started, it's not about the, uh... It's not about it being like a difficult to survive. It's now like mitigating the game's rules. All right, there's two last survivors in the camp. We gotta we gotta hunt them down. Sixty-seven-year-old Red Byers. And thirty-five-year-old Samuel. Oh, now it's a Samuel. Well, Samuel, uh. Don't know what to tell you, bro. All right. But I think the church is worthless. It's it's scrambled to build as many homes as possible just to get let people mash. But we couldn't even get enough food. Man, do you have to build a farm right away? It just it's not. There's just not enough people at the start of the game to do all the jobs. There's no way. You start with 11 people. You didn't need you at least need one one at the warehouse, one at the cellar and one at the inn. That's 3. You probably want two at the farm then. So two at the farm would be inn, cellar, warehouse, farm. And then you'd need hunter. Actually the hunter's 3, but I guess you could get away with two because the storage of the meat is not enough. That's 7. You'd have a le so you put everybody else in the warehouse then to try to speedily build the houses. All right, let's go again, boys. Damn. We labored to rid the church of England. I'll let you guys see this again. of papal influence, despised as Puritans, we suffered persecution and were forced into exile. In the year of our Lord, 1620, we left Europe on a religious mission to establish a godly government. In Plymouth, we boarded Mayflower, an ark that would carry us to the promised land. Soon, we were besieged on all sides by the treacherous ocean. Scurvy and fear of imminent death accompanied us for the remainder of our journey. We barely reached the new world alive after months on the high seas. The fear of retribution plagued our minds. Our countrymen had already warred with local tribes over this land. Many of us, too, believed we were not destined to share it. Famine and sickness struck our colony. We resorted to stealing food from the natives. The whole settlement feared the violent wrath of their war parties. Instead, one of them befriended us. Squanto spoke our language. Despite previously having suffered in slavery at the hands of our kind, he arranged for us to trade with the people of the First Light, thus saving our very lives. They introduced us to the beauty and bounty of our unforgiving surroundings, but most settlers still refused to see them as equals. Others would only deal with them if they commit to his word. Shall peace be sustained by sturdy plowshares or instruments of warfare? Oh boy. Is this the full game that was released today? Uh, no, the game's not been released in full. This is just the prologue. Everybody has a chance to play. Okay, so lessons learned from last time. We got to mitigate between these rules. I kind of want to actually run the tutorial to see if they get you in a good scenario that can actually get you to, like, win. But I feel like that's just not going to be the case. 
All right, let's do it again. No church this time. Okay. Well, we need enough houses to give them like a privacy to make babies. So like right now at the start of this game, only the people in their tw by the time some of these houses are done, it's still not enough. I think we just got a speed run for houses. That's the only way we're gonna ensure enough babies are being born. No church this time. <laughs> yeah, they took the took the previous stream and put it on their Steam store page. So I'm on Steam too. There, okay, there's no escaping me, Chad. You can't escape me. We're just going to work a short 22-hour day down at the Amazon Fulfillment site. Luckily, the uh, bathroom stall, the um, toilet paper also doubles as a resignation form as well. There will be no escape. Alright, the seller, let's give them... Three is enough. for the houses first. There's no other way. Instead of starting us with leather, I guess they did this so that way you could set, buy and sell stuff in the tutorial, but they should really just either A, give you money to buy stuff, or really B, just make it so that way your storage has more stuff, but I guess there is a maximum that your storage already has. Do you know what? We can we can buy more wood than what we have storage for. It'll it looks like this boat has just unlimited storage capacity. Actually I'm gonna buy fifty wood. No. Wait, what do the houses need? Fourteen planks. We need way more planks. Buy like 20 planks and 20 wood. Oh, 
wait, we have only 116. Oh boy. And no matter what we do, we also need a woodcutter because that's the only way we're going to be able to... Like this, We're going to have to at least make money from the woodcutter. Because we can at least sell wood to buy the planks that we might need before we build the uh, sawmill. Alright, let's see if everybody can... Uh, build the houses in time. Yeah, welcome again to all the new members, and thanks again, guys, for all the gifted memberships and such in the chat. Appreciate that. Don't forget to accept. You have to start over again. Well, I'd been calling it for a while when I when I saw our people aging rapidly. I knew what was up. But yeah, there's like no save, so we're we're redoing. prioritize one home at a time. They're trying to build everything at once. I feel like the tutorial might be a good idea to do not only just to like find out how to play but really like what the winning it seems like it's a formula it's like formulaic What's the use of a road if people are not using it? Yeah, true. You don't have to have the roads. I just do it for like aesthetics and to keep track of everything. And then you can just follow the line to each building. It's almost like building a circuit board. Like you see the connections between each of the... the things. Uh, I like the UI in this game. I, th I think it's actually pretty well done, especially for the building. I, re I really like how the building is done. Uh, and if you're questioning anything, you can always just hover over what it is. Although some of the translations are not... Like, for example, one of them is called Path Base, but it should just be called Road. Um, the farming in this game is called Wheat Farm, but you can actually grow anything at the farms. Like, each little farm plot can be a different thing, and there's like... It's like 20 cells or something like that, or like 15. So you can grow like tobacco, potatoes, and wheat at the same farm if you want to. Yeah, the workers' things, it's a little bit of a pain in the ass for the worker assignment thing. I, I want them to, um... They should just kind of do it how it is with Banished. Like, everybody always screams, Banished clone, re, But it's like, yeah, but Banished did the... Like, that, that set a standard of how that stuff should work. Alright, the sleep thing will hurt the happiness, so let's just send him to bed.
and immediately with the health because of the extra the one day extra long shift bro it's 1621 I thought these people were hardy imagine having to do a little overtime at, at your job and being like oh dude one time you had to work like uh, maybe a 30 minute overtime at work and it's just like oh dude I think it took 20 years off my life Something is wrong with my health. Oh, you had to work hard once? Oh. Wow. One little shift of overtime brought everyone's health to zero? How the hell are they not dead? How does death even work in this game? If your health is zero, aren't you dead to death? How the hell... It took one hour photo, 61 minutes to develop my film. I died right there. <laughs> like, what? How the hell does this game work? If the numbers are literally like zero, then what? Then nothing means anything. I got zero sleep last night. Oh, you must be able to, to work for another thousand years then. So that your bank account is actually a lie, bro. Just add like a couple zeros and just tell the bank, oh, dude. Because if, if health, if he zero health and colonized means that they're still alive, then the, the $81 that I got from the Powerball last week means I won 81 million. I too can make up fantasies. Don't fast forward it. Well, nothing's happening. There's, no there's nothing going on. There's nothing going on. Everybody's just sleeping in the shelter, not doing anything. And the moment you ask them to work a 22-hour shift, which is a small ask, by the way, especially in 1621. <sighs> Come on, get, get making babies. Let's go. Oh, but we can. What are they doing? Because they're working a half day down at the shelter. All right. Uh, Raptor, remember when you start a new game, you have to completely exit. Oh, is that is that a is that what the glitch is for the no health thing? Wait, there's either. Oh, that's right. The developer said you had to restart, but is that why? I don't know, dude. It's just like zero health in this game means they're still alive. A crap. Oh, it's a, oh, it's raining outside. Well, we can't have babies, honey. Sorry. Can't can't colonize the new world because you know what? I just can't see some sunshine right now, and so I'm just not feeling it. Sorry. Also, I know we could only make babies for another three to eight seconds ago. We could have made babies, but now we can't do it anymore. Sorry, I'm 24 now. It's too old. God. Come on, man. Make babies. Okay, maybe we do have to do a, like a full restart. Although these people are happy though. This is 72 happiness here. And 91 happiness here. So they should be... Yes, there's bears in the game. Come on. All right, hold on. We'll we'll see what happens. I got five dollar. I got five coins left. Maybe we can go down to a convenience store and get a scratch off. Hire some people who actually know how to get things done around this town.
You love the content, Blake? Well, thank you, dude. Uh, thanks again to everybody subbing. Welcome to all the new members. Thanks for hanging out. Oh well, the developers will see this stream and they'll see my pain and they'll make they'll make adjustment accordingly. But my pain being at 100 must mean it's at zero according to how it's measured and colonized for life. How the hell do the hungry things work in the game? I don't get the hunger thing. I think what hunger is, is it's not necessarily like, did they have a meal that day? But what their overall satisfaction of food is. So like, for example, if they're, if they're at, if they're at 70% hungry and they go to the inn and there's a lot of variety and they eat a good meal that's mixed with all sorts of things, maybe that increases the hunger a lot more, but they have to have multiple meals for it to go up. So it's not about one meal, whether it's up or down. It's more about meals and multiple meals over time, slowly increasing. What it should be is like f food satisfaction or something. Because as far as I know, hungry is a damn country. So I don't, I don't know what that means. Is that... What, is hung what does hungry mean now? 63 people that they know are from the hung from the country of Hungary? I don't know. Hey, Raptor. Hope you're doing well. No. Oops, looks like the tide in the ocean is high tide. Guess they can't work or cook for themselves. Buggy game logic. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, the tide is a little high. Oh, honey, we can't. No, I was totally was going to make babies with you tonight. But you know what? The tide is a little high and I'm just not feeling it right now. I'm feeling a little emotional right now. Come on, you're Puritans. Get to it. Get Purin. Get, that's what puree means. Come on. Make baby puree. Go. Mix those ingredients. Let's go. Dark and Flame, thank you very much for the five. Okay, I, I see no I, I see no baby making. So even before we started anything, it's it's stun lock. Alright, somebody did mention we should do a full game restart, though, as recommended by the devs, so let's just make hope that the game doesn't crash. Ah, oh, it crashed, guys. Oh. I forgot a well. Yeah, but when people, we, we looked at some people's happiness at like 72 and 79, well or not, come well or high water, they should be able to make babies, dude. I mean, God. Like, what do they need? It's, it's like getting uh, koalas, or no, pandas. It's like apparently people in the New World were like these super rare pandas. We labored to rid the... You didn't labor. F off. I, I see the way you guys work. Don't do anything. Oh, I had to work eight hours. Oh, happiness negative five. I owe happiness. I have overdraft protection on my happiness account. Okay. We did a full restart. Let's go. Uh, you can't make alcohol in the game, no. Not yet, anyway. But I will be going for that after this stream. Let's go for... Uh... No, damn it. You know what, maybe, should we do what the tutorial says just to see if it actually leads us to salvation? I feel like the tutorial doesn't even have a good method on how to do stuff. It doesn't? Okay. Okay, wait. I, re I really think we need... Um, I really think we need to start with houses.
Okay. We'll set priority for one to max. I'm going to make sure they do one house at a time. We'll build two at a time, and then we'll do one at a time. Yeah, research Viagra. That's not even it. Okay, we're gonna let everybody work nine hours a day. This is in the name of survival, so. All right, they're going to build one house first. Oh, yeah. Oh, is, oh, is the ship? Oh, see, yeah, I saw the ship this morning. I can't. Alright, I'm excited to see if like we can figure it out though. It this is a puzzle game now. This is like Mist. This is not a city builder colony survival simulator. This is this is a puzzle game. But honestly, I, th I think our setup was uh, just fine the last time. But again, it, I think it just really comes down to. Um, the developer's making some tweaks so that way, you know, people are not... The happiness is a little bit more relaxed and the aging is slowed down a little bit more because it doesn't really give people much time to do anything. Can you save the game? Uh, no. Yeah, this is a Nancy Drew Adventure City Builder, yeah? I'm just gonna try not to give anybody too many jobs over, like... I just don't get this, though. Like, why does some job start at noon to... 22 like shouldn't the woodcutter start early like I don't think you're gonna be able to see what the hell you're cutting down at you know <laughs> after 9 p.m. yes yeah, so this is a puzzle mystery game this is like playing riven blindfolded wall upside down with your hands cuffed with, with oven mitts on Okay, the day's over. Everybody's, like, at the inn, aren't they? They should be. We need to sacrifice a bear to clear the stun lock. Uh-huh. This is the this is truly what they were trying to make as the final puzzle boss in Elden Ring. 
Building a successful colony and colonize. Seriously, I'm really excited though. Like, I like all the things in this game and I, I really want it to succeed. Like, I think we need more city builders, more World War II games, more strategy games, etc. <sighs> the puzzle boss. You know, we streamed uh, Mist once, though. Mist was really fun to play. That was a damn good game. I enjoyed playing that one. Since the houses have an orange ring, maybe they need to be spread out. I, I, I don't know what the orange ring really means for certain buildings. Like... I don't know if because they have an orange ring, I think maybe building them together raises the happiness. Because when you go to build a house, a house provides five happiness, right? Like over here. Right over there it says five happiness. So if you build a bunch of houses close together, does that mean this is... Like, do they get plus five for living in the house and then plus five for having a neighbor next to them and plus five for having a neighbor across the street and then plus... Five for having the inn next door. Like, I don't know how much that actually matters. Or if it does at all. But also, this game is going to eventually have defenses where you can have palisades around your camp. So, like, you know that building a, a town really close together is good because if you build it too large, you're going to have these massive long walls that are going to be harder to defend because you're going to need more people to, like, make sure each section of the wall is secure. And they're planning on having, like, the the Dutch and the French show up, so I wonder how the hell that's going to work. Like, will people just, like, show up in the harbor, land at the dock, and fight it out like a naval landing in Tropico? Make one house outside the surf. I think what I want to do, though, is just get the developers to, like, be in the chat. And then I got, I got to make a list of questions and be like, listen, I got questions. They were here the last time we played, and it was really good. They answered a lot of questions that I didn't know answers to, like children, like people who are born in your city don't start working until the age of 10. Holy crap, our first kid. Yes, we've got two babies from two different families. Hail to the yeah, to the hell, hell yeah, brother, yeah. <gasps> the baby making, oh man, they are going. What the hell? That was two kids in like the course of five minutes. Holy crap. Boys. We gotta get these other babies going. Let's go. It's not about feeding the people. It's just about keep on making babies. Don't worry about the food. Don't worry about the survival. Just keep babies, 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 babies. Oh my god. Go baby, go. Okay. See, I don't know how much happiness actually has to do with things. I, I don't know. I feel like the happiness is only affected by their energy and their food. I have no idea. But this is the last house that we can make, so one couple will move from here. Well, and then actually we should make some more houses because... When those other people are up... Uh, when, the, when the kids are old enough, they're going to move out to the shelter and then they're going to need houses to live in too. So we're just doing cookie cutter post-World War II. Uh, ranch homes.
Yep, don't worry about survival, boys. Well, maybe for the first year, maybe there's enough food and storage to feed everybody for the first year and just focus on, like, building this actual settlement. But leather's a damn good thing to buy, though, to make sure that you got enough material. Damn, I want to I wanna beat this damn puzzle boss, bro. I'm determined to win, damn it. Well, they can have up to five kids. Like, see, that's the thing, is that there's a limit. So, like, technically, there's, like, a, a spatial limit to where, you know, they can have five kids in the time in which they can have children. So the most that a mother and a father can produce probably is five, because then they're going to live at the house, and by the time uh, five kids are ten years old... Actually, I think they move out at 18. So you'd need to wait 18 years, but... I don't know if parents can have children after that 18 years again. I don't know how that's all set up. Anyway, I'm going to build the hunter next. And then we're going to get... Oh, wow. Oh. Yep. More families are having kids. Nice. Happiness is at 73. Yeah, for, to go from like 0 to 10, it's like like 6 in-game hours. Like if somebody's born at midnight, by 6 a.m., they're already working their first job. Oh, there we go. A third family's having a kid. We found it, folks. That is the build. Go straight for building homes. Don't worry about the... Uh, Sell all the crap in your inventory, buy a few extra materials, and then start building the homes. That's the meta. Yeah, now our camp's immediately up to 16. Hell yeah, brother. How much progress did we make? Well, damn it, I think I found the meta. It's not about providing anything with people, <laughs> anything that people need to survive. It's just about making babies. Because, like, you can you can have the best camp ever, but if you ain't got nobody being born because they're unhappy, it's over. You're going to have a bad time. Okay, here's what we're going to do next. I'm going to have the hunter built. I'm going to buy as many planks as we need for the hunter to be built, which is 36. So that way we can s uh, sell all the leather to additionally buy more planks. It'll be way easier than, like, uh, making them ourselves. However, we can only buy nine. That brings us up to 19 out of the w what we need. So, we need to build a sawmill then. So we got to prioritize the sawmill. Sawmill only needs 15. Okay. Okay, so the sawmill needs 40 logs, which we have, 12 stones, which we have, and 15 planks, which we just bought enough to have. Perfect. Yeah, we're building the sawmill near the warehouse, otherwise it takes too long to get there.
Damn it, I'm gonna beat this puzzle boss. Yeah, we're up to 22 population now. That's really what you gotta do is build a bunch of houses. They apparently work a 10 hour day from 13 to 23, so we'll just leave that as is. Oh, look at this. Wow. I think if we get if we get close enough to the uh if we get close enough to the houses, we might be able to hear the babies being born. Listen to that. Oh yeah, they're just coming right out. Okay, um, we're making logs now, planks. I think we're missing a couple workers. That's just because the kids aren't old enough yet for the, uh, for the job. So let's get rid of the, let's just do one woodcutter and one person at the sawmill. We'll just go one to one. One person's cutting logs, and one person's turning them into planks. And then, if we need more logs, we'll just, uh... We'll just buy them. Look at this, dude! Three, six... Well, it looks like each family is at least having a minimum of three kids. We got a vacancy there, so the moment that somebody ends up getting married again, boom, we got it. Sawmill's good to go. Anytime you reset your game, it seems to reset your sound. Oh, man. Gonna need food soon? Well, that's why we're building the hunter. That'll take care of the meat for a while. But then, after we build the hunter, I think we're gonna build the farm. But the farm's not gonna be able to be used until April. Or May. So we should build a well then, in anticipation of the farm. And I think we'll build the farm across the street from the, uh, from the sawmill. Wait, let's... Hold on. We could put the farm down and just control priorities. That's the thing, though, is that, like, when you click to put down a building, there's no pausing, there's no deleting, there's no... Once you put down a building, it's on the list and it's got to be built, but you can build other things in the meantime. So I'll build the well next to that. There. But people are making the hunter's post first. So the only thing slowing us down is planks. So we're going to get woodcutters shut down. We're going for plank production only. Then we can buy another plank there. And sorry to the people at the uh, sawmill, but... Got to be a 12-hour day. We need those planks. We need 38, 36 planks delivered to the, uh, to the hunter. Then that will get us the leather. We can then sell the leather for additional planks to increase that production, then finish all the other buildings. Although the farm's really not needed until next year because it's going to be too late in the season by the time that thing gets built to do anything. Some of these houses are full. Dude, we're up to 28 population. Hell yeah. Best run. 
Does this game have pubs? Uh, there is an inn, but uh, I don't see any alcohol in anything at the game at the moment. Well, thank you, Jared, for watching. Yeah, thanks again, guys, for all the big O super chats. Thanks for all your compliments. Thanks again for smashing like and saying hi in the chat, like uh, Schumann Games. Good to see you as well. Thanks to all the uh, gifted memberships. Welcome to all the new members, too. And don't forget, as a member, you guys get access to a bunch of different emotes. You guys get access to our members-only section of the Discord. We have dedicated servers you guys can join for, like, V Rising. Uh, that's on now. We'll also have some uh, other giveaways and such for everybody who has V Rising later today on the Discord. I'm giving away free stuff, free gaming-related stuff on the Discord, so make sure you join that. That's for everybody. Um, the next giveaway, you'll have to have V Rising because it'll be a DLC, but yeah. The other day, we gave away Old World, which is like a civilization builder in the, uh, well, in the classical era. Good stuff. You love the channel? Thanks, man. I like making videos for you all. Well, the lighting here looks great. That is that is some really good lighting. Okay. Man. I'm not determined to I am I am now determined to let this let this game show me its ways. I must know its secrets. Alright, the hunter is now open. Awesome. Well let's see. I'm going to take two people off of the warehouse and assign them to hunting. Good. And let's take a look via age. Okay, so we got a few people who are coming of age now, so we'll open up the jobs for them to be loggers, warehouse employees, <coughs> or the workers. Uh, the seller will activate later. And we're building another house. That shelter is going to get overloaded. I wonder how that's going to work. If, if too many people enter the shelter at a time, I wonder if they get... How does that work? If people need to move out of the house, but the shelter is full... And the rule is that they have to be married before they can move into a house. Hmm. Okay. More houses are needed, yeah. Well, most of them are full. All right, we're speeding things up. We're heading towards winter. Now the goal is going to be surviving the second winter. That's where the game really truly begins. But we'll see. We have 22 logs, three planks. Building of a home only requires a little bit more stone. So we should be able to sell the leather we have now. 
and we can buy stones. That's what's also needed to build the well. The New Age of Empires is amazing. It was your first game that you ever finished. Oh yeah, Age of Empires 4 is a hell of a lot of fun. I think they need to add more nations to that, but I did see the new Dune game is getting a new faction soon for everybody who wanted to see a couple more factions in that one. That's good, and it'll get the multiplayer just before that, so it's going to enter multiplayer and then they're going to add a new faction for Dune Spice Wars, which is cool. Definitely want to play that with the boys. That'll be cool. Okay, so the wheat field is shut down till uh, April slash May. This house here is not occupied, so home building is not a, as critical. We just got to keep an eye on the hunters. Up to 20. Hunters have got to work a little longer. I'm going to make them work in the morning. We need that leather, man. The leather is going to translate into a lot more materials for us to buy. got to be our best run yet dude like this the fact that we actually have people in the houses is great i mean that's the first thing you got to do you got to just spam houses like oh food no oh uh resource generation like wood no sell sell everything sell your whole inventory and go straight into buying materials for houses like that's the that's the most important thing that's crazy how quickly you have to do that for sure very quickly. Yeah, more, more houses are needed, my lord. Absolutely, dude. We need to just have two more stones delivered for that next house, but... I think it's going to go quick. I think once people enter the shelter, they're going to find love right away. I mean, so long as there's a vacant home. Looks like there's eight stones available at the, at the ship, so they just need to bring that over. I think you should still be able to manage the farm in the winter, though. That's one of the more annoying parts of the game, is that you can't, like, select the crops in the winter time. Like, I want to be able to select, like, you know, tell me that this is shut down, but let me pick what the first thing... Like, let me manage it so that way we can, you know, set up what we're going to plant first thing as soon as it's open for the year. You know, Do you know what I mean? Love shacks? Yeah, we're, we're building we're building some love shacks. That's true. There's a lot of love in these shacks. There we go. If I have a PC one day of my own, I'd love to join Raptor in a game. Oh, yeah. Yeah, PCs are great. Like, uh, you know, a lot of people are getting into Xbox and PlayStation and stuff, especially with Game Pass and games being a, a little bit sometimes more affordable, though I would say that I feel like of P with PC you get uh, you probably get the best experience on PC because of all the free mods and oftentimes updates and DLCs and stuff that are like provided for free and demos too. Like even even this game's a demo; it's provided a ton of fun. Oh yeah, I'm having <laughs> having a great time. No, but seriously, this is like the best, best, best run now. Okay, we have five stone in storage. No more on the boat. Yeah, no glove, sh no glove slaps at this uh, love shack. That's true. Where are the bears? They're all over the map. All over. They're all around us. We have to prepare for the bear attack. Dude, we almost got 30 population, chat. This is awesome. Chat, we are doing it. 
buy some more stone. I guess this is what's really truly intended, is that we're really meant to buy more... We are truly meant to buy more materials from the boat than we think. Which makes sense, because when you're colonizing the new world, you're probably going to be bringing in a lot of materials first from ships before you start being self-sufficient for your own. you got to bring in all the tools, and then all the areas to store the tools, and all the things to do maintenance on those, and to house people, even before you've started to take one thing from the land, like before you cut down one tree. Well, I guess you might have to cut down trees. One thing somebody mentioned, too, which I think would be great in this game, would be a, uh, like, day one mode where... You know, let's say you pull up with the Mayflower, and then you have to, like, you know, you have to offload the Mayflower, so you have to get everybody onto the little rowboats going back and forth, bringing supplies to the shore as well as people. Then you gotta clear out all the trees, and then you gotta start, like, base, ba making the basic camp and, like, you know, having the... get the people off the ship and stuff. And we only started with 11 people, which seems a little light. Yo, RC Gord, thank you very much for subscribing, dude. Welcome aboard. Good stuff. Oh, it's winter, so you think the bears are hibernating? <laughs> that could be. The bears could definitely be hibernating. Yeah, health is going down again, yep. But that's why we made those babies before those problems. We gotta get a baby out of everybody before they before that health starts to dip. We're doing good though. Yeah, chat, you would say that. More bears are needed. Uh, do you need wood for the winter? Yeah, so in the future, the game will take into account firewood and warm clothing and such, but for the winter right now, all we need is food. But it seems like the most challenging thing in this game is to try to get people to have children so that way you can then continue to uh, basically like fill all the jobs of all the buildings that you're expanding into. Did they fix the age jump? No, but I'm starting to see ways around that. We've now got 29 people in the camp. The best we did last time was 16. So we're making improvements. Alright, we've got a new couple here in this house. It's kind of reminding me of how it is in Austria. I think it'll make it a little easier, though, in the future if they just make it so that way you can allow more people off the ship. Or to give us more people at the start. But really, slowing down that aging would be a lot better. Because, like, it's certainly nice when you have people having kids and then it only takes, like, a year for them to go to from age one to working age, but... Oh, we burned through a lot of our food, but we got, we got to wait till, uh... I think April or May, I think it's May, to open up the farm. Okay. We got a lot of bros in that shelter. We need we need the ladies here. I see one, four, six. It looks like we got six young ladies that are eventually moving into the bachelorette pad. Perfect. Ladies. Well, it looks like there's another 30 planks stored inside of the uh, sawmill. They just haven't taken them out yet. That is beautiful. We need more logs to be cut then. Oh, looks like the last house was occupied. Oh, and they're of age. Oh boy, so now we don't have enough houses again. That is crazy.
31 population. Amen, brother. Boys, this is our absolute positive most successful run. I am feeling Poglad emote right now. I know you are too. We're doing it! <laughs> oh, we have 28 leather. Fantastic. We can buy more logs. Maybe more stone. What's on the boat? Four stone is on the ship. What? Did those move? I thought I placed those pretty... Whatever. It doesn't matter. Fine. I'm gonna order a, four, a full order of stone. Yeah, that's fine. Woo! Excellent. Yes, Poglad. Pop Poglad. Poglad. Pop Poglad. 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 One pog equals one po pogulation. You need this button added? Oh, rewind button? Oh, an undo button. Yeah. Well, this game doesn't let you delete, but... Yes, it needs the ability to, like, cancel a construction or to delete a building. Because I could totally see it possible to where if you built a logging camp somewhere and you don't want it anymore, you could just reclaim the materials. You won't get much from it, but it would be nice to get something back and to clear the land for homes. Because I can imagine when you first start your settlement, you're probably going to start really small. And so you're going to build a lot of things right next to the camp. And then as, as it grows, you're going to want to push that stuff further and further outwards and then build a wall around it. So you're not going to be able to... Uh, you're not going to um, be able to build inside the camp. Like, you're not going to be able to build a downtown logging camp that's going to be in the middle of the city. It's got to be out in the woods. Got to go to the resource. Oh boy, that shelter is getting pretty full. Take a look at age versus jobs. All right, we had a couple unemployed. We could do a farm, too. A farm is, like, pretty free in terms of... Uh, Like, you, you, pr you pretty much can, like, just endlessly grow tobacco and sell it with just water. That's all you need. And somebody to monitor the field. Fishing shack needed? We could build a fishing shack. Yeah, we, we got to deal with this wood problem, though, first. We could build another uh, woodcutter down here. Yeah, we're gonna have to bring in extra logs now. Because we really need to speed up with our, like, um, building now. Usually it's like, go slow, but the house is actually provided... Like, look at that! Before winter we had, we had kids born, become working age, move out, move into the shelter, find somebody to fall in love with, move into their own home, and then have their own kids before, like, the end of January. And we started in June. That's crazy, and that the problem with that is going to be only more mouths to feed, so... But we're going to need, like, a couple of farms just for financials. If we do a pig farm, though, we should probably have some barley going. Ah, uh, but see, we can only store 20 meat at a time. But fish is a separate resource than meat, so we should probably build a fishing dock instead. 
Because if we build a pig farm and we have 20 meat in the cellar, it's just basically going to go to waste because they can't store the meat. But really having a pig farm would be like kind of an emergency storage for a lack of... Uh, having a pig farm would be like having live meat storage is basically all that is. But then you got to constantly feed them uh, barley. I'm going to build a fishing center inside the town. Now, YouTuber, why would you build a fishery inside the town? Well, according to this, it says, Produces fish can be built anywhere, and fishermen will go to the nearest water source to catch dinner. So it's really just like a, like a processing site for fish. And we'll build it in the town so it's closer to the cellar, so once the uh, fishermen have finish cleaning the fish or whatever, they can send them up to the cellar. Oh boy. How many babies? Uh, let's see, if we take a look, we have... Well, at least under working age, we have four. Five. Nope, just four. You can also sell pig meat? Oh. Wait, really? I've seen sl Oh. If we can sell them, that changes that. Oh, alright. Do we have other communities near us? Yes, but we need, we need to build an expedition center to go and, like, visit them. We can open trade routes with them, but I, I, I haven't gotten that far yet, so I don't know what happens when we get there. That's like the Holy Grail. Once we hit that, it's like we've beaten the game. The, en the final enemy boss has been defeated. But I want the farm to open up. Uh, where do you find the password for the uh, V Rising server? If you go to the Discord, to the Members tab, it's one, like, a sub-channel just below that. Well, if we're going to raise pigs, we need barley in storage. We have, uh, we have 15, but I don't know how much they're going to eat. Yep, you're welcome, man. Enjoy V Rising. We'll be playing that later today, so if you guys want to jump on V Rising and start a settlement, go ahead. Wow. Pig farms are very small. 40 planks to build a pig farm, though. Wow. Well, let's do the local fi uh, resources first. We'll do farming, fishing, and hunting first, and then we'll do pigs and chickens last. I think the chickens pr only produce eggs, but I don't know if we can actually slaughter them. I, I would assume we can. I have 30 water in storage, too. Well, that's good, right next to the fields. Let's go ahead and build the woodcutter next so we can get more resources pumping out. Need to get everybody a job. Okay, so at the boat we have fourteen stones and thirty one wood waiting. Uh, this should be the full size of the map, but it's much bigger than it looks. But this is the only map for now, so there there could be maps bigger than this or smaller than this. I guess it just depends on the what the settlement looked like back in the time, back in the day. Yeah, we're gonna try to build that 
We're going to try to build this uh, logging camp down here. Just so we can, uh, attempt to make more logs. I guess the other thing is, if the logging camp is inside the, uh, inside the base, it's closer. They don't have to walk as far for the, uh, for the warehouses. Oh boy. The shelter is full. Oh boy. Oh boy. I'm curious, one in the chat, if you're watching the stream now and you are not a member who has turned on the gifted membership, where you can accept or you've made, uh, made it so that you have allowed for it. Just curious to know if everybody watching who wants to be a member has turned that on. So if anybody does a bomb, they're all set to go. Yeah, we'll need more houses ASAP. Well, we need more, more uh, materials for that, so we'll see. There you go, there's a few ones. Okay, cool. I was just curious. Uh, if you're already a member, gifted, get, receiving a gifted membership doesn't apply if you're already a member. But if you are a member, you can gift. You just have to be on, uh, you have to be on a PC first. For now. Hopefully they change that eventually. Alright, 20 wood needs to be delivered to make another logging camp down there. I think the warehouse needs way more employees. They need... The warehouse should allow up to, like, 20 employees. Because getting people to, like, bring materials to the warehouse, then from the warehouse... Like, all your construction materials have to go through the warehouse, and so to limit that is, like, a, a big bottleneck. I want to build another farm field. I think that might be the easiest way for us to make more money. Could order another one right there. Dan Cooper with the five bomb in the chat. Thank you very much, Diane, for the big O. And Jared, thank you very much for the six months. If you gained a membership, by the way, don't forget to say thank you and spam those member bombs in the chat. All right. That is our, like, third big O bomb for today. So congratulations to everybody who won those gifted memberships. I think there should be more pop-ups, too, on the screen for, like, when the farm opens and stuff. I, th I think it's got to be, like, May. Now we're getting a lot of alerts about food, food, food. There is food at the uh, inn.
Hmm. Yeah, that's true. May does make sense because May is also when we uh, get all the um, animals to spawn in. Although a big problem here is that you're only allowed to store like 20 meat, so it's like it's it just doesn't seem like enough time. Or enough storage. Oh, we're getting food alerts left and right, but... Well, they're just going to have to deal with it. We have seven corn, 20 food in there. Or meat, 20 meat. Oop. Oh. Looks like the houses are almost ready to finish building. You know, interestingly enough, with the shelter being full, yeah, I guess people have to move from the shelter to the houses, so the people who are living with their parents now have nowhere to move to. So they're just going to have to wait until the uh, shelter opens up. Wow, they completely wipe out that place. What? With Even with the 20 meat? have to have the people at the cellar work nights. They can bring over food. There they go. Okay, so now they're bringing food. And now the farm field's active. Good. They recommend a 13-hour workday on the farm. Damn. Alright. Let's do all corn and then potatoes. And Pinto Bless for no stun lock. Here we go, baby. Yeah, they're all hungry. Food's getting delivered, though. They all just need to eat. They're complaining about being hungry while they're eating. <laughs> Their numbers are going up, but it's like, I'm hungry while I'm eating. Oh, we just got to... Play within the limitations of the uh, of the game. Okay, so now we're making food from the farm. We're making another woodcutter, and then we'll make a fishery. So we should have meat coming in from the hunting shack, food coming in from the weed field, and then fishing going on too. Yeah, to allow gifted memberships, whenever it pops up, there should be a thing below it that says allow. Then you just have to kind of be randomly selected from YouTube once somebody drops a bomb. There might also be stuff at the bottom of the chat, but I can't see the chat like you guys can. If they don't let us... I can't gift for you guys. Like, it has to be other members gifting for more memberships. I'm just going to buy more logs. We need logs. just going to have to open. Mm. 
They're bringing over food. Yeah, we are having some deaths, but it's like it's based on the limitation of the uh, inn having a certain capacity and the seller only allowing for 20 meat. That's the easiest resource to get at the start is uh, hunting. Could go with fish, but we'll have nothing to sell back. But more about getting out of that initial stun lock. Oh good, the uh, woodcutter's open. Excellent. Okay, now we just need a bunch of people working there. Next thing is the fishery then. Wow, 10 stones, 30 planks, and 30 wood. Wow. Let's actually set a house to priority. We're gonna try to build some more homes, get people out of that shelter. Gonna pull the nose up on the plane. Just got to give them more, more options for homes. Also, I still don't know how the harvest thing works. Like, can I now order for the heart? Like, why do I have to order the harvest? Like, shouldn't it be on the farmer to know when that's ready? Like, you know, for the logger, I don't have to tell the logger to log trees. I don't have to tell the fisher to catch the fish. You just assign them to the job and they should do the job. The farm, it would be nice if we had a, like an emergency harvest option where we could, you know, if winter's coming and the crop is not yet ready, but we could still make something out of it. It's either like your two options are to either fully lose the, um, fully lose the crop or salvage what you can. Yeah, the YouTube membership gifting thing is in beta, so if certain things don't appear, if it looks a little weird, yeah, I, that's how it is with YouTube, you know. Alright, so we went from, what, 33 to 23, but now we have a food supply in there, so... And we strictly, like, straight up went for just having tons of, uh... We went straight up for expanding the population, so... Even though there were deaths, it was either like, okay, do you want some people to die or everybody to die? <sighs> the leadership decision. Yeah, also we need we need to have multiple workers. There there needs to be a way to have AM and PM shifts with multiple workers so that way you don't exhaust one person. It's like this work needs to be done like 14 hours a day. So like we could why not cut it in half and allow somebody to take the AM have an AM and a PM shift. That that needs to be added. There needs to be a way to have shifts without building separate buildings. How does the innkeeper eat if they're working? I think if somebody's assigned to the innkeeper role, the game just automatically like gives them 100 health or 100 food or something. I was thinking that too, and I was thinking to myself, like, yeah, if they're in the innkeeper role, it probably always gives them 100% food. You know, they get to taste all the food and stuff all day to make sure it tastes right. So now the farm grows again. Yeah, we don't need any planks. We have plenty of planks now, so we got to get up on uh, getting logs delivered. The settlement's actually working, boys. Like, we're, we're doing it, finally. Another home is built. People are moving in. It's actually working, dude. That's the most amount of homes we've ever had. 
This is a big fat dub in the chat, boys. This is amazing. It's working. I just don't know what the perfect time is to harvest the crop. I assume the blue has got to be water, but... I'm going to go for another harvest. Oh, look at that. Now we got all this extra corn and stuff. And that means we can switch. Looks like potatoes go really quickly. We should... Eventually, I guess the goal would be to have a farm for everything. Like, a farm for wheat, a farm for corn, a farm for potatoes. And then if you got too much of one crop, then you just switch to, like, a cash crop. I'm building another farm. And then we can start exporting tobacco. We could have this next farm do, like, barley for the pigs that I'd like to eventually get, and then tobacco for money. Wow, look at that. 45 leather sitting there. Amen, brother. There's also um, some of the... So some of the expeditions we're going to do where we can explore other parts of Massachusetts require a little bit of cash. Not too much, but... We have another vacant home. I think we should actually build another um, cellar because... And we could take turns turning one on and turning one off because, I mean, look at all this storage for potatoes and stuff. In fact, there's so much storage for potatoes, that's the thing we should be making the most of. Like, you can only hold 15, fl 20 flour, but you can have 100 potatoes. But does the flour then, like, does one flour equal one bread? I guess these are some of the numbers we need to know because I'd love to make a bakery to figure that out. But, you know, that's going to take a hell of a lot of materials just to experiment. That's why I wish we could save, because then I'd save here, build the bakery, see what it does, then undo it. Yeah, it's just Plymouth in the prologue for now, yeah. But I think you can build for as much as you want. Yeah, we're starting to enter spreadsheet territory, yeah. Oh, it looks like the fishery's got everything it needs except for additional stones. What do we got at the boat? done. I'm going to buy 50. Or, uh... Well, I'm going to buy... F four, mm, you know, I'll just buy a whole thing. 45. Oh uh, yeah, there's no... Can't save, yep. It's like Iron Man mode. We gotta do everything right. emergency harvest go on before the end of the year. Okay, so let's do this. So, um... 
I'm gonna cancel all the harvest now because it, it it all shuts down in October, so I'm gonna redo the farms here. So let's turn this into a full potato farm for the next year. Then we're going to shut it down for now because it's like too late for it to grow, I think. Well, I don't know. Let, let's see what they can do. Maybe they can get one more. Yeah, we might be able to build another home. I got some other stuff I got to get done, though. The fishery's up now. I think the fishing dock can work year-round, too, regardless of weather. Whether it can weather the weather, I, I don't know whether or not it can. So I guess we'll see. Or lake. Or ocean. Or river. Well, let's see. Yep, people want more food. Well, luckily we got 20 meat, 35 potatoes, 50 corn. Once the farm is shut down, I'm going to try to put people on fishing. somebody to work at the inn though. All right, let's shut down logging. Yep. Okay, that lady's now working at the inn. We can get a potato harvest done for the end of the year. Okay, so green must mean that there's actually a crop there. So what, when it's green, it's just ready to go? So it's like a farm has an additional storage capacity and you, you don't have to harvest until... You don't have to harvest from a farm until it's like ready. Or you can, like you can choose to store to farm, to hold at a farm forever rather than putting it into the, why would you put it into the, uh, the cellar? All right, we're gonna build something new here. We're gonna build an amazing new building, the expedition, which we've never seen before. So this is gonna be our first look at like some end game prologue stuff that we've never ever unlocked. And we got babies being born, so that's a good sign. It means we're, we're doing something right. Let's finally, after all this time, build the Expedition Center and take our first look at new stuff that we've not seen. That's going to take 70 planks and 58, 50 wood, so that's going to be a while, but we'll get at it. And it looks like people are fishing. Oh, and they're bringing in a lot of fish. Beautiful. That's good. And we can store 50 fish in the cellar, so that's good. All right, we got people logging. Let's assign somebody for the sawmill. We'll open up the spot for it. We got one open house. So somebody's gonna find some love soon enough. All right, so we're providing fish, we're providing meat, we're providing potatoes, we're providing corn. 
Dude, we're doing it. And we're going to take our first look at new stuff. This is the best run, y'all. This is the best run. Got a lot of money coming in. We'll still need some more stones, but we got 36 on the boat, so that's good. That's beautiful. Okay. Wow, they went through the fish, like, immediately. Oh yeah, there's the last of the fish being brought out. Wow. Okay, the fact that we have an extra home is good. So for the expedition, apparently we need people to go on the expedition. Like, we don't, we don't just randomly click and it just magically happens. Like, it, it's... Gonna require us to, like, send people out on a mission, so they might need to actually leave the settlement for a while makes sense let's build some more homes then we'll build one to start with Let's make that a priority. Priority one. Okay. Yeah, we need beavers working for us. Good point. We got 100 potatoes in storage? Awesome. 50 corn? So this is why we need another cellar, but the thing that sucks about the cellar is... We have to have certain, like, we can't have, we have to have certain people assigned to each cellar. We have to have, like, more than one, but then that means we could probably cut the workforce in half. I think people who work at the cellar also need to go to the, I think people who work at the cellar also have to go to where the food is being made to pick it up as well. We could do a pig farm, we could do a chicken farm. The hunter and the fishery are done. I think we should do another cellar, honestly. We have so much food that we can store. And I don't want the project production chain to get held up by supplies. All right, we're prioritizing the cellar now. Look at all that food going out, man. We need more storage on that. I'm gonna buy 50, 25 wood. Boat's got 32 stones and 25 plant, uh, wood that's ready to go. Stone and wood are ready. And we can increase labor at the uh, sawmill. This game needs a, uh, a queue where you can actually... You know how like an Ostrieve, when you're building stuff, it pops up in the upper right corner and it shows you like house, lumber mill, bridge, church... This game would definitely be great to add that where you can visually see. And then, of course, in Austria 2, you can click on a picture of whatever you're building and then, like, drag it so that way it'll then reprioritize things. But then also you can put certain buildings on pause so that way if they're going to be constructed in the queue and you don't want them constructed, you just hit pause and then it's indefinitely paused. All right, this is the building we haven't seen before. This is the new expedition building. We've never gone on an expedition. We are so close. 
And we actually got the population bumping, and there's like tons of houses made, bro. There's all these kids, too. Yeah, Ostrave is great. Ostrave is a very challenging game as well, but... You know, in Ostrave, that game too also started out very difficult and challenging. And as the developer continued developing the game... Of course, that game got a lot easier too because then it, be, you know, there was more things to build, more things to buy. You know, the system used to be like, you used to not be able to grow sunflowers at all, and so you had to import all of your sunflower oil, and it was really expensive. And like the only thing you could really do in the game was like export charcoal and maybe like tools or something like that, and then buy all that stuff. But now it's like the opposite. Now you can just make tons of money off sunflower oil, pretty much anything, like whatever you want to specialize in. So it makes it a lot more, uh, a lot more fun. Oh yeah, true. Yeah, that's true. Ostrave used to have houses that like would totally rely on the farms, and now they've got like little. Ho when you build a new house in Ostrave, it has a little garden around it, so the family will be kind of self-reliant on their own food for a while. They can grow their own like little potato patch in the back and eat potatoes for a while, and it it allows the farms to like build up and scale up slowly to match the population. Imagine if EA listened to feedback. Yeah, you know. When profits start being cut, yeah. Hey, could you make a better game? No. Okay, we're not going to buy it. No, you can't do that. I need money. Then they, then they listen real good, don't they? And they always lead with the first thing that they always say. Gamers, we hear you. You you have been heard. I mean, we're not going to take responsibility or accountability or accept our fate for not listening to you or really say that we're going to make a change. But yeah, we you're talking. We heard you. I mean, we're not going to do anything about it, but we heard you. Anyway, you guys should download our new mobile game. It literally just locks into your bank account and starts transferring funds. It's awesome. We call it, surprise, your bank account's empty mechanics. Yeah, I thought uh, Hard Space Shipbreaker released yesterday. I would like to play that one, but it, I like that game a lot. But when I play that, it looks like... I don't know, a lot, a lot of people didn't seem interested in that when we played it the last time for a big update. Maybe now that it's released, maybe, but I like that game a lot. And it's kind of more of a... It, it kind of... Hard Space Shipbreaker is a little bit like Teardown, how it's kind of puzzly, how you have to think about how you break things down. I hope the game doesn't have a timer, though. I want kind of more of a chill experience. I don't mind the timer, but I think it's so good that I want to spend more time in it. Like, I, I don't want to... I don't want to be forced to rush through the game. Because it's a good game. Somebody's saying they need more sleep. Where do they where do they work? The hunter? All right, we can cut back a little bit. Everybody's complaining about health, but they should have food. 20 meat, 12, 13 potatoes. All right, the hunting camp was complaining about sleep, but all right, I cut them down to... All right, we'll cut them down to eight hours. There is an untimed mode. Yeah, but I want the main story to be untimed. But it's okay.
Oh boy. The on-time mode has the story? Oh, really? Oh, thank God. It used to be part of the story, and it was like... It would force you along too quickly in the game. Damn, now I'm, now I'm totally in. I want to do my own pace. Well, maybe they listened to feedback on that one, because that was my biggest uh, feedback on that game, was that they... I just didn't want to be rushed through a lot of that stuff. You know what I mean? All right, well, maybe we'll check that one out. One's in the chat if you think we should check out Hearts Base Shipbreaker again. Also, one's in the chat if you're enjoying our live stream. One's in the chat if you're excited for the expedition building to complete. One's in the chat if you're going to download this game today. Of course, uh, Co Colonize is uh, out free on Steam if you want to try it out. One's in the chat if you're on the Discord. One's in the chat if you're watching live. And one's in the chat if you haven't put a one in the chat. Nice. Well, let's open up some new jobs. Okay, now we're now we don't have enough well, actually that's always been a theme is we don't have enough people. And the amount of people bringing over food crazy. There can only be 10 corn? What are these weird numbers? I watch recorded. You're watching live. You you, you said that because you're watching live. Yeah, one in the chat if you don't want to say one. That's right. Okay, so what did we build next? Alright, so the Expedition Center is going to be the last thing we build. But we got to finish the cellar, which needs about 9 more stone. we got 16, 21 on the ship, so we're good there. Yeah, are there any Chads in the chat? Yeah, where's Chad? Is he in the chat? Just curious. Oh, there's all the chads. Oh, wow. That's gotta be like our best emote. They're all good, but that one's like... That one's like chad tier. The chad emote is how I feel whenever anybody's like... Hi, Raptor, love the channel. And I'm like, oh, cool, I guess. But really inside, I feel I feel like Chad. All right. All right, so we can't start growing food until May. We have May until September, basically the end of September. Like, no time at all. Except farming in this game is pretty quick. But that's why, like, if you only get a short amount of time to, to make food, then the, you better damn well store it. That's why we're building all those uh, cellars now. Long weekend, hey, congratulations, Chica. Good. Try not to population collapse before... Yeah, we'll see. I think some of these people are too old to have children. 54, yeah. Hmm. We just need to worry about a little bit of food storage now. Are all the all the other jobs filled? For now, yeah. Seems like a good idea to always have some extra materials on the boat, just in case they need them. 
Since we're buying so much, though, or since we're building so much, we should be buying more, actually. We'll buy another 25 wood, another maybe 10 stone. What are we at, 104? And food keeps getting brought over every night. The fishermen are doing a great... Oh, wait. Oh, no. The fishery is closed for the winter, too. Oh, man. that You're telling me that doesn't work in the winter? And I feel like they could at least get a fishing boat out to the ocean or something. Are they carrying pizza? I wish. We gotta build the expedition center. We gotta see this new this new juicy content. We're almost there. We just need to make sure we got enough population to go on the expedition. Two more stone delivered to the cellar, and we are done. Hopefully it comes from the boat soon. Great, the cellar is open. So now we can get double the people on food uh, delivery. Although I'm going to go ahead and... I'm going to cut it down to four each. I think six is too much now between the two. But now everybody who doesn't have a job can go work in the farms as soon as they open. And the fishing dock. Oh, the fishing dock opens in April. So it's not on the same timeline as the... So the fishing dock must be closed for like maybe two months out of the year. Maybe like... Well, maybe like December through... January, February. Man, look at him burn through that food. Yeah, potatoes are definitely going to be a thing. But now we have 200 potato storage. Where's my got berries emote? There's no, no, there's no berry emote. I deleted it. Chat can't use it anymore. They're not allowed. I said no. Chat was like, okay, we'll never, we'll never do it again. Okay. So this one's all, all potatoes, and this one should be, do four corn, barley, and then tobacco for money. I don't know if there's a way to make a job priority higher. I think we don't have enough workers again, though. Population's at 33. Damn, that's good. Making a lot of logs. We're making a lot of lumber. Two logging camps are sur supplying one. A lumber mill. Okay, so we're going to try to build another house so we can get some people out of the shelter. Yep, the shelter is completely stun locked. Yeah, so, so I would say maybe in this game too, it might be a good idea to make sure that you're trying to build one house every like two in-game days, like two day-night cycles. But worst case scenario, if you have a house 
that is full of two people, eventually they will pass away and then a younger couple can take that house. Uh, yeah, the, the workers represent the modern Zoomer on TikTok. As you can see, they're very focused on what they're doing and not at all distracted or... Yeah, I don't want to take anybody off any jobs at the moment. We need that farm up, but I don't... I don't want to take away from the construction materials jobs. And we need 70 planks for that. Warehouse has got to go full time because the warehouse, they have materials to deliver. They're just on the boat, so they got to walk a long way. That's why the the warehouse and the um, and the uh, cellar just need way more storage capacity because if they have to walk all that way to get stuff and then walk all that way to deliver stuff, there should just be bigger capacity so that way they can just can. Like, there's never, there should never be a moment of downtime for those workers. Like, they should always, they should always be able to store or deliver without something being full. Or at least their storage being full. But man, that inn is going to be very busy. Uh, no tobacco yet. Boat has 35 wood, 24 stones. Okay, good. Uh, we have the expedition building on pause for the moment. I'm trying to build a couple more homes so we can get these um, jobs fully filled, the uh, farming. It looks like we got one more person. Oh, good. All right, the farms are full now. Perfect. We're going to build new houses now. That's the next thing on the job, and then we're going on an expedition. We're going to see the rest of... Massachusetts, which we've not yet explored ever before. It's gonna be interesting. I'm gonna ask them to harvest, I think. I, I just can't tell, like, if the crops are ready or, like, if they are ready, like if they're fully grown, I don't know. Yep, this game's uh, free on Steam right now. It's a prologue, so it's like a in it's a demo of an incomplete game. So there's a lot of bugs and issues with it, but that's why I can't stop playing it because I want to see how the hell to succeed. Yeah, we need to get the cellars functioning at the same time. A 
lot of potatoes, fish, and meat. All right, looks like some of the elderly may be dying off finally. People are probably reaching age 100 by now, so they, they automatically die when they reach 100. Yeah, the NPC shake is just kind of a thing. Just a glitch. What's up, Joshua? How you doing? Potatoes are being harvested. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know what's up with that shake like that, but it wasn't doing it before. I think it just means we're doing really, really good at the game. That's what it means. <laughs> All right. The other thing I'd probably want to make now at this point would be uh, chicken coops after these houses get done. Looks like we're building one of the houses here. So I guess green means that they're ready for harvest? Do you want to click harvest manually when most of them are ready? Assign more workers to the cellars and such. Okay, we have some people who finally died off from old age. More than likely. Those people had full families there and then they went to live at the shelter. So there should be some more married couples moving in then. Okay, we have some younger couples down here. People in their 20s and 30s, so that's good. And some people just entering the workforce, so we're good. All right, that's good. them to do the thing oh yeah they're doing they're doing nobody's working at the logging camps all right let's shut those down we got plenty of supplies at the uh on the boat yeah we got 30 wood and 20 stones so the warehouse workers need to go get that stuff Whoa, hold on. Oh, we got a nose down situation. We got to have workers in the warehouse and in the cellars. We got a problem.
Oh yeah, look at that. We got people quite old. Yep. There was a death wave. Oh, people are working at the cellar, that's why. I'll have to go back to four. free homes they just need to actually go work there or find love Actually, we have a, fr a couple of free houses now. This one's almost done, so we'll finish this house next. Tricky. What do we need? Five planks? cut back on the warehouse now and just just do food related let's try to keep everybody good we have plenty of homes now so let's do this we're going to expand on to the cellars kent welcome back as a raptor plus thank you very much for the big o support green eyes in the chat yeah, the council and other things will make this way easier. And we can maybe add tax to the game and do a few things so we don't have to constantly buy and sell. Alright, so we're trying to make it so pri primarily farming is more important what we're trying to do. Now September, so let's emergency harvest everything. We'll get four workers back for the winter and then we'll have them do logging and build the expedition center and see if we can finally go on the expedition. It's coming. Like the next thing we want to do. People are having kids. After watching you every day for the two years, it's the least I could do. Wow, dude. Well, thanks again to everybody who dropped some member bombs for chat. Thanks again for smashing like. 
subscribe and all that good stuff helps the channel, so thank you. Oh boy. Well, let's take a look at age. All right, so we got 60. Now we got a lot of good people around. Uh, good age to have children. And some houses that are open. Population up to 24 from like 22, so that's good. Farms are closed for the season. Doing all this work to get everybody fed. Am I streaming this right until I play V Rising? No, I'll take a little bit of a break right now. I mean, I would have stopped by now, but I'm so damn hooked by the Expedition Center being ready. I kind of have like an end game goal that I'm trying to get to. 20 Fisher in storage. Now, see, this is why we got to have AM PM shifts. Like, the AM shift would be great if they. Went around to all the farms and all the food production buildings and gathered it at the cellar, and then the PM ship brings it to the inn. Oh. I thought, as a member, you don't have to watch ads, or is that only Twitch? Yeah, that's only Twitch. The only way around YouTube ads, I think, is with YouTube Red and YouTube Premium, which I thought were the same thing, but again, confusing as hell on YouTube. I don't Even Susan Wojcicki probably has to watch ads before she can go to her damn office. The way this place is set up, she in the elevators going up to her office on the infinity floor of the Octane building, or Octan building, she's got to like sit through nine ads before getting off the elevator. I always get, YouTube's so bad with ads too. I, I get advertisements for things that I don't even own or would in, be interested in owning. It's like, you know. Tired of crashing your spaceship into the moon? Buy spaceship insurance. And it's like, dude, that doesn't even exist. Who the hell's paying for these ads for stuff that don't exist, dude? You are live in Steam broadcast? Yep, I'm on Steam 2 playing this. There's two of me. Wouldn't it be hilarious if this whole time I just had a twin brother and you guys didn't know? Maybe I do. So the last thing we got to do is build this uh, expedition building. So we're prioritizing food now. And with the wheat fields being done, the labor can now be brought over to cutting trees again. Wow, we went from that to 27. Nice. At least we're staying alive. How do you exit the game? The X in the corner down here next to pause. Oh right, the wheat fields and the fishery are closed for the winter. Now we're up to 28 population. We're doing it! We are so close to having that damn building done. Like right there. Literally. There's still 19 wood, one plank, and 16 stones on the ship.
All right, I'm just opening up all jobs now. Everything has to be done. Population's on the increase. We're at 28 now. We're doing it. We've pulled out of a nosedive. Holy crap, 82 tobacco? Holy crap. Boys, we're rich. Here comes the money. Here we go. Money talks. Here comes the money. Money, money, money. <laughs> oh boy. Well. I'm just going to buy a bunch of logs. We'll do a 40 stack. Nah, the hell with that. Let's go 50. And the rest in planks. Let it ride, baby. Vegas. Damn, now we just need people at the warehouse to literally just go pick stuff up off the boat. 66 wood on the boat. 11 planks. 16 stones. I need some more Tucker hats in the chat to truck these materials back and forth. Aiden hand brother. Actually, gonna shut down the uh, woodcutter. Yeah, just yeah. D we don't need to make anything local. We just made a big purchase. So much money we can buy Louisiana soon. Make a Louisiana purchase. Amen, brother. Yeah. And we have openings at the cellar still. Population at 28. Ooh, we got families living together. Couple of open homes, good. Expedition building set to priority. That is at 27 out of 50 on the wood, so we're halfway. Planks up to 70, man. What the hell are they doing with all the extra planks? You have a thousand dollars and one dollar bills? Holy crap. That sounds like a man. Imagine going to Vegas with a thousand dollar and one dollar bill. You'd have to have a whole backpack full. Be a lot easier to tip waitresses, though. I guess. Yeah, okay, chat. Yeah, waitresses. I knew what I was saying. The algorithm's listening. Sometimes you have to read between the algorithm. Or 1,000 egg memberships? No way. Are you telling me somebody watching this stream currently would click or tap join and become a member today or possibly drop a big old member bomb in the chat? Although I think two of them didn't work because of YouTube. No way. That's not going to happen at all. Not at all. Oh boy, we got a health stun lock. What is it, food? Yes, but also no. They've got corn and potatoes and meat in there. Damn, I wish the people would take the frickin' roads. The route would be faster, and it would be more direct. Like, walking on a road would probably be faster than trudging through the snow. And also, you know, their walking speed would just be faster because they're on, like, a surface. Great route. Yeah, chat. No, please please don't drop a big old member bomb. No. Don't do it, chat. No. Alright, I'm gonna hold on to a little bit of cash. Oh, no. 
Swigger Gaming? No, he dropped a member bomb in the chat. Darn. Oh, no. Oh, man. Member bomb emotes in the chat. <sighs> yes, indeed. Thank you very much, dude, for the support. Darn. And congratulations to everybody who dropped, or rather got one of the dropped bombs in the chat. Someone gifted you one, so you had to return the favor. Oh, damn, that's nice, dude. That's a nice thing to do. Thank you. Kindness is a, a rarity. Big O bomb. Yeah, may, maybe when we get to the 1700s, they'll learn to walk on roads. Wow, look at that. It's almost... It was like negative 17 degrees Celsius. Jeez. Yeah, we got quite a few elderly here, but we do have quite a few young people in open homes, so it's a, it's going to happen. Yeah, whenever that member bomb thing pops up in the chat, you just got to click allow below it. So anytime you're watching, you have to, a couple things have to happen. You have to A, be watching a live stream, B, you have to be subscribed to a channel, and C, I think you have to be like active in the chat. So like you at least got to say hi or like put a one or a smiley face or something at least once. But if you don't win a free membership, I am dropping uh, keys for V Rising in the Discord soon and some cosmetic DLC for that game today as well. I try to do a giveaway every day, give you guys two live streams a day. And make a video each day as well. I try. Smiley face. Population's back down to 26. Elderly, probably. Glad to see me doing better in this game? Yeah, kinda, I feel. We're not providing enough food to the inn, though. I guess that's because there is none. But we're definitely going to need to have some pigs or something for next time. So let's do that. So we got to have way more food. So it looks like what we're going to need is we're going to have to have food sources year-round. Because the storage system really sucks. With two cellars made, it's still not enough to store things throughout the year. We've got the hunter going full-time, but that's not enough. We've got two farms going throughout the summer. That's not enough. We've got a fishery going. That's not enough. But we have 77 barley, so what we could do is... We could pull the emergency shoot in January of recruiting more uh, recruiting more pigs for the duty of uh, self-sacrifice in the late winter for bacon and Christmas ham and eggs. Oh, we can make deviled eggs. Sweet.
the hell? I feel like if we go too fast, like they... I feel like the workers slow down or something. Alright, I don't think we can play in the highest speed if we're... If people are on the screen. 26 down to 24 now due to stun lock. We're okay though. Plenty of vacant homes. And we need to be able to uh, cancel or pause construction. Fifty four wood, ten stones remain. Trying for that expedition center. Uh, uh we're putting everybody in food related buildings. Actually, I'll, I'll do two there. The problem is the food distribution thing. I gotta figure out how the hell to get people to like... Okay, that might work. Not gonna work because those people would have to eat. No, they can eat at the end and the beginning of their sh before the beginning of their shift. Okay. Now we should be okay if we focus nothing on. If we only focus on food, we'll be all right. So I like kind of want to build another hunting lodge, but again, we can only hold the 20, actually now 40 meat. But that's all right. We have like a minimum, we have like a minimum, uh, we have like a minimum service floor that we can like at least hold 15 people when things go bad and then up to like 33. We got to find a way to break through 33 though, by having enough people that can go into the cellar. Yeah, wins their ramen. Dude, we need a Japanese city builder too in like Korea. And I want another one for ancient China. Like in the style of the uh, Sierra games. Like Pharaoh and Emperor Rise of the Middle Kingdom and such. So, good. Put the inn closer to the... Oh, put the cellar closer to the inn. Well, the cellar also needs to pick up from buildings too. So if we built it closer to the inn, it would still be further away from the farms. And the fishery and the hunter there so they gotta be kind of like it's gotta be near some building so in between the two is fine all right so the fishery is closed in april still so they must open up in may 
Wow, the fishery is negative 15 for anybody living nearby. Thankfully, they're back there. All right, we got to spend a year licking our wounds from hitting this. When we hit the ceiling, it really bops us down for like a whole... There's like a whole ripple effect down the, the supply chain of the uh, food not being delivered. There's 11 meat in there now, so everybody should be able to eat. Let's just do like a really crappy uh, shift for the innkeeper, but it's gotta, gotta get everybody some food. So I don't know if I can go this fast. I, I think we should never go this fast, unless it's nighttime. Damn, the game really needs shifts for AM, PM. Because if we can keep the inn open day and night, anytime somebody's hungry, It'd be nice if, if somebody hit, like, critical levels of hunger that they could just bypass whatever they were doing at the, um... Whatever they were doing at the, um... At the inn. Or, if they were working a job, it'd be nice if they could actually go and... Go into the inn. I don't know. People want food, there's food in the inn, there's eight meat. Wait, it's like half... Wait, what? Halfway through the day on... In April, the fishing dock can open up. What the hell? There's eight meat. Why are they not being fed? Well, we're at 48 out of 50 for the wood needed at the Expedition Center. Well, the inn is also a public space where they... The, the way it works is people live in the shelter until they're old enough to get married and have children. Then they find somebody to, I guess, get married with at the inn, and then they go move into a house. But yeah, there needs to be more options for, like, getting people out of their house and stuff. We're making food. Close to death due to uh, food stun lock.
We should have potatoes coming in soon. Where the hell is everybody? Nobody exists in the town. What the hell happened? Where is everybody? Wow, that's a lot of goddamn gravestones. Holy sh... There's 16 people in the town. Where are they? It's work time. What? Where the hell is everybody? What the hell? They're in their homes. Damn stunlock. Oh, come on, man. What? There's people living here. We got a whole family staying at home. What? Come. They stayed at home for an entire month. I Where was the farm? We hit that top pop and then it all dipped down, but we should have been able to pull up the nose by prioritizing the work at the cellar and doing nothing but food. We, we had people working at the hunter's lodge, people working at the f potato field. What the hell happened? The fishery, the hunter's lodge, and the wheat field that has potatoes all had people with a cellar going. We should have been able to feed everybody until they found enough babies. Or found a significant other to have their baby. This says 16. This is 4. Okay, alright. Mo Population counter is broken. We're down to three people. Well, that's kind of an important number to not have wrong. It's like having a broken speedometer in your car. Wait, how many people are left? Two? Well, ladies, uh, where are you working? Wheatfield? Are you working down at the warehouse? Uh, yeah, why don't you go ahead and pack it up, ladies, and head out. Alright, fire up the Mayflower. We're going home. Grab your yoga mats and your chai lattes. We're leaving. Come on. Oh, wait. It's the age of sale. Never mind. Okay, so, like, what? Uh, the hell? Like, everybody just stayed at home for the last day and just, like, died. And <laughs> there's just gravestones everywhere. Okay, so if we had some sort of an autosave, what I would do is go back to just before, it, as we were hitting the 33 pop, 
that one winter, what I would do is build the pig and the uh, the chicken coop, pigsty and the chicken coop, so that way we could have some extra meat to get through that winter. And then we would just go right into spring and we would replenish all of the... Um, I mean, we had more than enough food. We had two farm fields, a fishing dock, a hunter's cabin, and uh, we had two cellars with everything full with people delivering stuff. So between those, the the pig farm and the chicken coop should be able to supply eggs and meat for the winter season. And then, boom, we go right back into spring where then the potatoes will sustain us for a long time while we get a bunch more pigs up for May and whatnot till the winter. So that should be just fine. And then we go on to the expedition. Damn it, I still haven't been able to see it. Oh my god. All right, we're going to have to play Colonize again so that way I can see the end game here. Like, we were right there. We were building the damn thing. And then it was just like, what the hell? Oh, well. All right, boys. Well, we'll go ahead and uh, jump on back to uh, colonize sometime soon. We know now that we need to build a bunch of houses right at the start. And I still want to see that expedition building. That's going to be our end goal. So if we didn't see it today, we'll see it another time. We're going to come on back and do this one again in the future. Spam the like button like crazy. Welcome again to all the new members. Thanks for all the big old member bombs. If you want to do one, now is the last chance to do it. And members, you're invited to our V Rising server, uh, which is on the um, Discord. Information's there if you want to check it out. Thanks again for supporting the channel. Thanks again for becoming members. Thanks for subbing. And I'll see you guys very soon. We'll try this one again. I mean, with limitations to the uh, a lot of the systems, with it being a prologue, with it being an incomplete game, and with things like the militia and the council coming soon, I'm still going to try, damn it, or we're going to die. Try or die, we seem to die. All right, I'll see you all next time. Goodbye, and thanks for watching.